Chapter 3241 The Luo Families Financial Crisis Luo Changmu and the others then left the Chu family. And just as expected, the Chu family was wiped out. All the mines and businesses that they had once controlled were fought over. At the start, the Chu family had barged into the Shang prefecture and taken it over in a bloody war. Now the experts were taking everything back from them. But the transfer of ownership was followed by more bloody killing. Although the Chu family was a follower of Lord Brahma, to Lord Brahma, a follower that had no value was meaningless. These sects destroyed the Chu family, and if Lord Brahma asked about it, they could simply join his side. It was that simple. Lord Brahma wouldn't waste time on a useless pawn. Thus, those sect had nothing holding them back from killing and taking everything they wanted. Hence, they went crazy. In a single night, the Chu family was completely destroyed. This overlord was devoured by a pack of wolves. A temporary peace settled, but that peace would be followed by another battle. This pack of wolves would then have to decide who would be the wolf king. That was the rule of the immortal world. Long Chen returned to the Yuo family with everyone. After that, he helped them find a bunch of fist-sized crystals that looked very ordinary. Other than their color and luster standing out a bit, the others couldn't see anything special about them. However, it was these crystals that emitted the specific fragrance that drew the sea demons over. The Liuo family then properly stored them. In the future, they might be able to draw the sea demons over in batches as training and also for profit. If they were the ones who controlled the initiative, then they would be able to reduce the casualties. The Chu family's problem was resolved, and the Devil Sea was also settled. The Liuo family celebrated, but without Liuo Zichuan present, it felt like they were missing something. This time, Long Chen once more obtained many heavenly Tao fruits, and he directly gave them to Liuo Changwu to distribute. However, when they saw these heavenly Tao fruits, both Liuo Changwu and Liuo Changwen had embarrassed expressions. Liuo Changwen said, Long Chen, why don't you keep these divine fruits? Don't you have your own group? Leave it to them. I don't know when I'll be able to join them again, so I want to first create an army of primals in the Liuo family, said Long Chen. There was no need to rush things with the Dragon Blood Legion. It would have to wait until he was firmly settled outside of this domain. It was unknown how many people were being drawn over to him because of the blood kill order, so he definitely wouldn't be lacking heavenly Tao fruit in the future. The main thing is, I'll tell you the truth. With the Yuo family's current financial state, we are unable to raise so many primals. I actually have mixed feelings about giving 600 people these divine fruits. If I had known that they would have such an effect, I wouldn't have let so many people consume them. Yuo Changwu bitterly smiled. The Four Peak Realm was an expensive realm. Four Peak. To raise four attributes of a person to the absolute pinnacle, allowing them to decide their future cultivation path. Due to their heritage, the Liuo family's experts prioritized their bloodlines and then their souls before choosing a specific element. As a result, they could be considered blood cultivators. Although they had produced a single immortal King Zichuan that shook the heavenly swell domain, their financial foundation wasn't as great. To put it frankly, they were actually quite poor. Otherwise, Liuo Zhu wouldn't risk her life fighting in the Nine Prefecture Convention just to obtain a treasure item. A treasure item was something that most sects simply gifted their primals. Some sects would even give a primal multiple treasure items. This embarrassing matter wasn't something that they should tell Long Chen. However, Long Chen had shown his sincerity and these two brothers felt that they had no choice but to tell him. The Four Peak Realm required an enormous amount of medicinal pills. That was because they were raising four attributes at once. It was like raising four people in one go. 
in particular a primal possessed even stronger bloodline power and raising them required an ocean's worth of resources hence the chu family already found it taxing to raise a few dozen primals and now they had six hundred primals with an awakened primal bloodline at once after a moment of excitement liu cheng almost wept it felt like he had suddenly given birth to a group of good children only for him to have no milk to raise them that feeling truly felt terrible and yet he was unable to show it he could only think of a way now long chan was giving them more so the two of them had no idea what to do they were stuck long chen smiled slightly don't worry isn't it just a problem of medicinal pills have you forgotten that i'm a master alchemist you've all eaten the pills that i refined do you have such little confidence in me but with so many people even if you refine pills all day you won't be able to keep up what about your own cultivation Yuo Chanwen shook his head. Six hundred primals had appeared in the Liuo family, and adding on their original primals, they needed far more medicinal pills than they had. The amount required would exhaust Long Chen in no time. The Liuo family wouldn't allow such a thing. I told you that you're overthinking things. My medicinal pills don't necessarily need to be refined by myself i have some small secrets that i'll keep to myself but in any case we have as many medicinal pills as we need even if the yuo family was raising a hundred thousand primals there would still be enough pills go distribute the heavenly Tao fruits as for medicinal pills don't panic i'll talk to the friends from the huayan trading company and everything will be fine said long chen forcing Yuo Changwu to take the heavenly Tao fruits. Yuo Changwu was bewildered. He then picked out some disciples for the heavenly Tao fruits. Once those disciples also awakened their primal bloodlines, the Yuo family would have close to a thousand primals. When they grew up, they would definitely be an extremely terrifying force. However, four peak pills were a big problem. Every person had different specialties and thus they needed different pills. There were far too many pills required. For example, if a person picked runes for blood, soul, metal, and bone, the medicinal energies that they needed to consume would be different, and the order in which they consumed them would have to change as well. Only when all four attributes were fully satisfied could a person progress to the next level. If a person consumed the wrong pill, resulting in one of these attributes no longer being able to be fully satisfied, there would be no way to advance to the next realm. The Four Peak Realm was the most terrifying realm when it came to the pills required. If you had money, then eating the wrong one could be made up for. But people without money could only weep if they consumed the wrong pill. It wasn't that the Luo family didn't want to raise four peak primals, but they couldn't raise so many. Seeing such good talent be wasted was even more painful to watch than killing them. Furthermore, for the four peak pills prioritizing the bloodline, there was a certain main ingredient required. That was the essence blood of a kind of spirit beast. It was very expensive and was the biggest headache for them. However, Long Chen wasn't worried about these things with the Huayan Trading Company present. Such a popular ingredient could definitely be obtained. With Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace, he could refine as many pills as required. What Luo Chang Wu was worried about was nothing to Long Chen. Furthermore, raising the Luo family would allow his heart to rest at ease. It could also count as atonement for his mother, he supposed. Although he didn't think that his mother had done anything wrong, compensating the Luo family would make him feel a bit better. Long Chen sat in front of Luo Zichuan's stone hut and closed his eyes. His mind then sank into the primal chaos space. There was a pill furnace shuddering here like a convict on death row. He he, the Chu family's people are actually quite good. They've sent me quite a few good things. 
Long Chen's eyes shone brightly as he looked at this pill furnace. He prepared to subdue this king item. Chapter 3242 Demon Moon Reborn There was an item spirit inside of the pill furnace. But it was very cowardly and didn't dare to unleash its divine might in front of the primal chaos space. From start to end, it was too scared to even resist. It was just like those bone blade flame devils from the netherworld that didn't dare to resist in front of the three eyed life form. They simply allowed themselves to be devoured. This was beyond Long Chen's expectations. He had thought that king items were divine weapons of world kings that possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth. But Chu Yingxing simply didn't even have the power to use it. Even if he was able to send it smashing toward Long Chen like a shooting star, I relying on faith energy, he was unable to bring out even one ten thousandth of its power. Even then, this pill furnace was very powerful. Long Chen's black saber had directly shattered on contact with it. Long Chen hit the pill furnace. But no matter how he provoked it, the item spirit didn't release the slightest fluctuation. Now Long Chen was getting worried. If he couldn't kill the item spirit inside, how could he use this pill furnace? It had to be known that this was a Danite furnace. It had fallen Danite's mark inside of it. If fallen Danite were to sense him using it, he could probably simply order the item spirit to detonate and it would kill Long Chen with it. However, no matter how he tried to draw it out, the item spirit acted like it was dead, refusing to unleash the slightest fluctuation. Useless thing. How could fallen Danite make a coward like you? Pursed Long Chen. However, even his purses didn't draw out the item spirit. Long Chen clenched his teeth. This was a priceless treasure, but without killing the item spirit, he didn't dare to use it. What to do? Long Chen thought about it. He didn't dare to allow the moon and star refining furnace to devour its soul, as that would be like asking an ant to devour an elephant. The slightest resistance from the Danite furnace would destroy the moon and star refining furnace's item spirit. Big Brother Long Chen, let me. Lei Linger then transformed into a lightning rune. She stuck to the pill furnace, and that rune spread like a net, covering the entire pill furnace. Big Brother Long Chen, it's very pitiable. It says that it doesn't like you and begs that you don't kill it, said Lei Linger. Long Chen was startled. Lei Linger was actually capable of communicating directly with the pill furnace. That was very curious. Ask it its origins, said Long Chen. After a moment, Lei Linger said that this pill furnace was created by a disciple of Fallen Danite. After the immortal world's heavenly tribulation, the pill furnace gained sentience and an item spirit. It then had Fallen Danite's mark branded into it. To put it frankly, it was a slave. Because it was only made less than a thousand years ago, its item spirit was still very weak. It was then given to one of Lord Brahma's outstanding loyal followers. That follower was an alchemist because only through refining pills could a pill furnace quickly grow up. In truth, this pill furnace was something that Impuda had borrowed from that person. Using it as enticement, he had made it so that the Chu family would unleash their full power to eliminate Long Chen. If they succeeded, Impuda only needed to play a few tricks to take back the pill furnace. Then, after giving the Chu family some compensation, that matter would be over. If the Chu family failed, that was even simpler. That alchemist would simply activate the summoning rune and the pill furnace would directly connect a bridge between them and return. Regretfully, they had miscalculated. Any treasure that landed in Long Chen's pocket could not leave. The reason Lei Linger was capable of communicating with this item spirit was because the item spirit was also a lightning spirit body. However, it was very weak and couldn't communicate with the rest of the world. It was only because Lei Linger was also a lightning spirit that she could understand its spiritual fluctuations. 
After hearing this story, Long Chen was speechless. And Puda, what is wrong with you? For good or bad, you are a world king, and yet you can shamelessly pull off something like this. The Chu family and Impudo were absolutely shameless, with absolutely no limit to it. Without thinking about it, it was obvious that Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight were probably the same. Lay Linger, tell it that I cannot kill it, but its spiritual seal must be erased. Is it willing to merge with another item spirit? One body, two souls, said Long Chen. After a bit, Lei Linger returned, standing in front of him. It said that anything is all right as long as you don't kill it. Are you sure that it's reliable? asked Long Chen seriously. This was not a small matter. It must be done cautiously. It's too young and hasn't fully awakened its spirit. It doesn't know how to lie yet, said Lei Linger confidently. After saying that, she smiled oddly. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Girl, are you saying that the human race is the one adept at telling lies? These natural souls of heaven and earth were pure at the start. If they had a good example to follow, they would be good too. But if they had a bad example, they would become bad as well. Lei Linger gabled, No, you're overthinking it. Although that was what she said, her expression said everything. But she wasn't wrong. In the end, the existence most skilled in lying and cheating others could only be the human race. If Lei Linger was guaranteeing this, Long Chen was at ease. With her help, he slowly inserted the Demon Moon Furnace's item spirit, Ling Er, into this pill furnace. He heard his heart pounding in his ears, afraid that he was harming Ling Er. If that happened, he wouldn't even have a chance to save her. Fortunately, Lei Linger was truly dependable. The pill furnace's item spirit didn't reject the demon moon furnace's item spirit. It actually enveloped Ling Er with its own energy, and both spirits began to share the power of the pill furnace. When their two spirits merged, Long Chen clearly sensed Ling Er's spiritual fluctuations. He then sighed with relief. The moon and star refining furnace had been revived. Now Ling Er was also on the verge of reviving. Once she did, Long Chen would have two powerful helpers to refine pills for him. He wondered if she would be able to refine demonic pills once she woke up. As for its slave seal, Lei Linger, can you handle it? asked Long Chen. No problem. We are both lightning bodies. I just need to draw the slave seal into my body and slowly erase it. If no outside power interferes, it will only take a few days, said Lei Linger. Long Chen nodded. Then there was no need for Huo Long to do anything. It just so happened that he had important business for Huo Long. Long Chen extracted the devil core from the bone blade flame devil's head, and runes flowed on top of it. He seemed to be able to see a lava sea of energy from those runes. With the devil core extracted, Huo Long immediately flew out and coiled around it. Long Chen smiled. This devil core contained terrifying flame energy. It had to be known that this was a flame element life form that had reached the immortal king realm. The flame energy contained within its body was absolutely terrifying. Huo Long began to absorb that energy. As for Long Chen, he eyed the giant bone blade. Chapter 3243 Zhang Wenlong arrives, the giant bone blade, was snow white and was perfectly straight, with a slight curve at the tip. The bone blade flame devil had two important parts to its body. One was its devil core, while the other was its bone blade. Those were where its life essence was gathered. This bone blade was a natural divine weapon with blood-red marks flickering on it. Those marks activated its sharpness, but flame energy was required to activate them. Long Chen knew that the bone blade flame devils were terrifying, but he hadn't expected to personally encounter one. It seems that my old weapon didn't suit me, so they sent me another one. 
The Chu family really is nice. Long Chen stroked the bone blade. Sensing its thrumming energy, Long Chen felt like the Chu family was truly wonderful. However, just as he tried to lift the bone blade, he found that it merely quivered a few times, shocking him. It was actually so heavy. The corpse had been directly put away into the primal chaos space, so he hadn't taken note of its weight. It was only now when he tried to lift it that he found it was shockingly heavy. It was many times heavier than the black saber. Boom! Long Chen dragged the bone blade out of the primal chaos space, and it landed on the ground, shaking the entire mountain. Damn, it's dozens of times heavier than the black saber. Long Chen was excited. This bone blade was even more terrifying than he had expected. He had truly profited. Navalone Kong Long Chen then bit his finger and drew a mark on the bone blade. His expression was solemn. This was an ancient offering ceremony he had seen in an old text. He didn't know if it would be useful or not. He was using his own essence blood to form an agreement with the blade. The bone blade had no soul. Thus, his own essence blood would be what created the spirit. In the immortal world, once an item's quality reached a certain tier, it was possible to inject spirituality into it. However, that was very cruel. It required the souls of other life forms to be injected into the item, turning them into puppets. Only an item spirit on the level of a king item had natural spirituality bestowed upon it by the heavenly Taoists. But there was also an ancient rite that used a person's essence blood to inject spirituality into a divine weapon. However, this art had been lost. Long Chen had no guarantee of success. But then, without a spirit, would this giant blade have any use? It wasn't as if he could just smash it at people, no. At this moment, Long Chen's rune was absorbed by the blade, and a pattern appeared on top of it. It appeared to be a vein of blood kai flowing within it. It succeeded. This lock. Long Chen was delighted. He hadn't expected to succeed. As the blood flowed, the bone blade quivered. Long Chen suddenly felt a sense of familiarity with it. A ha ha success. Long Chen laughed and pressed his hand against the saber. This giant blade then shrank until it was only seven feet long. After that, Long Chen lifted it, his hand shuddering. He was almost unable to lift it. It was seven feet long and two inches wide. The blade itself was very thin. After shrinking, its sharp aura was shocking, and he felt that it was cold to the skin. Long Chen then tested it on the ground and found that it was like piercing tofu. It easily cut through this tough rock. What a good blade! No wonder even though the bone blade flame devil was crushed, this blade remained perfectly intact. Its weight is refreshing. Long Chen stared at the bone blade excitedly. It was probably comparable to a king item. After shrinking, it was like an elephant tusk as white as jade. Looking at it, he was growing more and more fond of it. It can grow and shrink at will. He he nice. Once Huo Long is done absorbing the devil core, I'll insert flame energy into it and see what happens. Long Chen rubbed the bone blade delightedly. However, he didn't dare to touch the edge of the blade. Its sharpness was something that hurt his skin before even touching it. He had never thought that a bone blade could be so sharp. This blade could cut through treasure items like tofu. Such a weapon was amazing. He even had the urge to wear it on his back like saber masters. That would definitely be flashy. However, he only thought about it. Not showing off one's wealth was the correct path. After two days, the Liuo family's spies sent word back that according to what they knew, the entire Chu family had been wiped out. Even some families that had intermarried with the Chu family were implicated. Anyone with the Chu family's bloodline had been wiped out. It could be said that the Chu family's bloodline had been fully severed. 
the grievance between the Luo and Chu families that had lasted for tens of thousands of years had finally come to an end in their generation. Within the main palace, Long Chen, Liuo Changwu, Liuo Changwen, the Grand Elder, and the other core elders who had participated in the sneak attack had gathered. As the Chu family had been destroyed, they had to discuss how their Liuo family should develop now. But for some reason, after learning about their destruction, after feeling like a great weight had been lifted from them, the Chu family's experts also felt a bit lost. The Chu family was actually just a minor blockade. Our Luo family is the descendant of the Violet Blood race, so we cannot forget our mission. Our goal is where the family head went. After this battle, thanks to Long Chen, I have already taken that step, said Luo Changwen. Only then did Long Chen come to a realization. No wonder he felt that Luo Changwen's aura was a bit different. He had become a half-step immortal king. The elders were delighted. This was huge. Even without the family head, the Luo family could now protect itself. Everyone then looked at Long Chen gratefully. Long Chen's explosive blood pill had allowed them to experience the power of a half-step immortal king and had pushed them forward a step. Several of them now touched that barrier. It created a path for them to also become half-step immortal kings in the future. Everyone, don't get overconfident. Imputa definitely won't leave things like this after suffering so many losses. Once everything is in order, I will return to the High Firmament Academy. The Luo family will be my second home. Whatever troubles you have, tell me. But it would be best if the Luo family was more low-key during this time. I will do my best to attract Imputa's attention, said Long Chen. He couldn't stay in the Luo family too long. Otherwise, Imputa would very likely strike the Luo family. You are the one who needs to be careful. The blood kill order is very terrifying, warned Luo Changwu. Hee hee, don't worry, I'm not so negligent. Imputa has been constantly sending me gifts. How could I reject him? said Long Chen with a laugh. Everyone else also laughed when he said this. Who would have thought that the netherworld lifeforms that the Chu family had summoned would cause their own destruction? Even their king item had been taken by Long Chen. That was an absolute treasure. That very day, Long Chen brought Qin Feng, Liuo Bing, and the others back to the High Firmament Academy. As soon as he returned, a few disciples ran over. Senior Apprentice Brother, you're back. There have been countless experts from outside the Domain who say that they want to challenge you. There's another expert from outside the Domain who says that he's your friend. He said that he is surnamed Zheng. He's been waiting a day already. Zhen Wenlong has come. Long Chen was absolutely delighted. This fellow had finally come. Without another word, he rushed into the Inner Academy. Chapter 3244 Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory as soon as Long Chen entered the Inner Academy. He was surrounded by a group of experts. There were hundreds of them, all primals. They had come from outside this domain. After Long Chen spread his name in the Nine Prefecture Convention, countless experts near the Heavenly Swell domain came to challenge him. Zhu Zixin was one of them but he was the luckiest. As his head wasn't very good, he had actually barged through the Devil Sea on his own, so he was the fastest. The others had to use the Huayan Trading Company's merchant ships, paying an impressive price to come here. They were all hot-blooded youngsters with outstanding talent and immense arrogance. As soon as they saw Long Chen's overbearing display in the photographic jade, they were provoked. They came to challenge him, and through beating him, their names would resound even louder. Defeating famous experts was the fastest way to fame. Youngsters all possessed their own pride, and their heads were simple. Hence, they always liked to walk shortcuts, Navalun, calm because of this, although the price to pass through the Devil's Sea hurt, it was a price that they were willing to pay. 
it was only when they arrived at the high firmament academy that they were completely dumbfounded many fellow challengers had come just to line up in the last few days it was unknown how many fights had erupted between them some people always felt themselves to be special and cut in line none of them were willing to take a loss lying down thus all kinds of fights broke out between them there were over ten people that the high firmament academy had to rescue hence when long chen arrived those idle experts immediately swarmed him long chen i was first i challenge you to a fight one of those experts was afraid others would get the lead and he immediately charged at long chen unleashing a punch powerful kai waves surged out of him his power was very much not bad Boom. however people didn't even get a look at what happened they only saw that expert get sent flying like a shooting star smashing into a giant steel that steel was for the earth rankings of experts there was a formation protecting it and that person simply smashed into it like an egg and slid down even egg yolk dripped out when he slid down the steel his shape no longer resembled a human scram i don't have time for this nonsense after sending that person flying away long chen ignored these people heading straight for his residence at this time elders of the academy carefully peeled the shattered egg off of the steel good he can still be saved send him to the infirmary why are all of you doing this do you not know that there is a phrase in the heavenly swell domain provoke a yama king but don't provoke boss long sen youngsters really don't have any respect what a shame those elders dragged the limp egg away with them while other elders cleaned up the egg yolk on the steel everything was quickly cleaned up those experts from outside the domain were dumbfounded they hadn't even seen how this person was defeated they were confused not knowing if they should stay here or leave a don't be dejected my boss is busy and doesn't have time for you but we all have time furthermore my boss isn't someone that anyone can challenge why not beat me and then you will win the qualifications to fight him come we can fight in order of who came first don't worry i won't be as fierce as my boss as guests that came from so far we martial friends will make sure not to go too far said kin feng that instantly made those challengers feel better after all they had crossed the devil's sea to come here they couldn't return empty-handed these experts must have quite a few techniques that you haven't seen before we can exchange pointers and it will benefit you furthermore the academy's disciples can watch and also learn don't miss this chance whispered kin feng when he saw that bai Ziol and zhu zixian were confused only then did everyone realize why kin feng was so enthusiastic as a result they received these challengers they requested the academy to arrange a martial stage to exchange pointers once the news spread countless disciples were excited and came over to get the best seats to watch long chen ignored all those with just a single glance long chen could tell the depth of these challengers perhaps their talent wasn't bad but their true combat power wouldn't be much stronger than zhu zixin when he had come they were all arrogant fellows who thought themselves to be peerless geniuses and wanted fame true experts naturally wouldn't waste all the time and effort to cross domains just to challenge him that was because true experts didn't need approval from others nor did they care about fame brother long it's been many years but you are still the same as ever zheng wenlong also appeared the same as before steady and refined but when he saw long chen he couldn't help spreading his arms and folding long chen into a fierce embrace this is great us brothers have finally been reunited i feel much steadier inside now said long chen emotionally 
the Battle of the Marshall Heaven Continent had thrown Zhen Wenlong into immense danger, while Long Chen had done his best, but hadn't had the ability to save him. Fortunately, he had survived on his own. It's all thanks to the wealth god that we have met once more. I know that my path to wealth will once more shine gloriously. I'm sure you don't mind me putting it like that, ha ha ha. Chen Wenlong laughed. The two of them were both filled with emotions at being reunited. Of course I don't mind. This is the core of a businessman. I'm at ease with you handling my business, said Long Chen, smiling. Chen Wenlong was the businessman that Long Chen trusted the most. He could even entrust his life to him. When I first entered the immortal world, I had to start all over. The Huayun Trading Company's rules are all fair. The greater your business, the better you do, the greater privileges that are afforded to you. Fortunately, I received the wealth god's care. I can rapidly rise, and you are my main benefactor. He he, between the two of us there's no need for courteous words. You're going to embarrass me if you put it like that, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen and Zheng Wenlong had mutually helped each other for a long time now, and their cooperation had brought both sides immense benefits. With Zhen Wenlong's arrival, Long Chen felt much better about the future. Have you heard anything about people from the Martial Heaven continent? asked Long Chen. I only heard some news about Mo Nain. That fellow's name is an existence that shakes the nine heavens and ten lands. It really is a case of only Mo Nian rises to glory, sighed Zhen Wenlong. Chapter 3245 Helping Each Other He's So Powerful, asked Long Chen. Yes, he is powerful. But he is being chased down by the experts of countless sects and powers. There is no lack of immortal kings and world kings amongst them, said Zhen Wenlong. What? What did he do? Long Chen was shocked. He had thought that he himself was already strong enough, but he hadn't expected Mo Nian to be even more ruthless. He was actually being chased by experts on that level, but was still able to stay alive. Zhen Wenlong smiled bitterly. Mo Nian has resumed his old trade. He is studying all kinds of ancient tombs every day, and he's not picky. Anything he sets his sights on, he will directly excavate. It doesn't matter what the status of the master of the tomb is, or what kind of place it is. It is said that he has joined the immeasurable palace, apprenticing himself under Deist Quedda. It is said that his master is also the target of hate from the entire immortal world. As for Mo Nian, it is truly a case of the student surpassing the master. His grave-robbing talent is not at all inferior to his master. Most importantly, his guts are quite big. Even being hunted down, he continues to rob more graves. Wherever he goes, he visits the tombs as well. It's even more of a rampage than his master back in the day. He has three priceless treasures on him, a drab helmet, some worn-out boots, and a shovel. These three things make it so that even immortal kings are helpless against him. Even when world kings come for him, he can still flee. Tell me, don't you think he's terrifying? Damn, even world kings can't capture him. Mo Nian's doing quite well, said Long Chen, growing envious. It seemed that this fellow had found himself a good master. As for the news about the others, I haven't heard anything. The only reason I heard about Mo Nian is because he's notorious in the immortal world. It's been over a year since I ascended to the immortal world. However, almost all my time is spent on studying the immortal world's treasures and knowledge. I also study appraising techniques from my seniors. This is fundamental to all disciples of the Huayan Trading Company, as every merchant must have a master-level skill in this regard. Just as I smoothly finished this apprenticeship and was preparing to start my business, you appeared. Jane Wenlong smiled. Long Chen nodded. Knowing that Mo Nian was doing so well gave him peace of mind. Following that, Long Chen told Jen Wenlong about what he needed. 
the materials for refining four peak pills and the essence blood of spirit beasts could all be provided by Zhen Wenlong. The only problem was that Long Chen was asking for as many of those ingredients as possible. As Zhang Wenlong had just started his business, there was no way he could act as he had on the Martial Heaven continent, where he could directly provide anything. There were still many restrictions on him, and he didn't have that much authority in the Huayan Trading Company. Knowing this, Long Chen didn't waste words. He took out a hundred thousand divine whisker daffodils and hundreds of thousands of various top-grade spirit pills. Moreover, there were also two thousand treasure pills and quite a few wood foundation divine trees. Upon seeing this many treasures, Zhang Wenlong was instantly delighted. Long Chen had never disappointed him. These divine whisker daffodils were filled with spiritual kai, so even a single one of them could be sold for a great price. What about a hundred thousand then? That was a terrifying number. Other than that, the medicinal pills could also be sold for an unimaginable price. In order for the moon and star refining furnace to quickly grow, Huo Long had never paused, so the two of them were constantly refining pills. However, most of the pills were no longer useful to Long Chen, and it just so happened that he could leave them to Zhen Wenlong. Zhang Wenlong was truly worthy of being an elite businessman. He actually recognized the Wood Foundation divine trees. At that moment, he was completely dumbfounded. Long Chen, this thing. Zheng Wenlong not only recognized it, but through the patterns of the wood, he could tell just how great these Wood Foundation divine trees were. A Wood Foundation divine tree capable of bearing fruit. If others knew that someone had cut off the branches of such a treasure, they would definitely curse this person to death. As long as you can sell it, I can get you more. I need all kinds of materials urgently as we need to hurry and charge forward. So can it be sold? Asked Long Chen. Of course. It can be sold for a very high price. Wood element immortal kings can turn the wood into goods, and they can insert wood spiritual energy into it as well. It's the best thing for assisting the cultivation of a wood element disciple. It's a treasure for families focusing on wood element cultivation, said Zheng Wenlong. Then how to deal with them will be up to you. I need the resources that I mentioned. Once you return to the Huayan Trading Company, make an assessment and get me those materials for four peak pills. It doesn't matter what element the materials are, metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, dark, blood, bone, muscle, or soul. As long as they can be used for four peak pills, gather them. If those elements can't be used on my side, I'll refine them into pills and you can sell them. I can work fast and won't make it hard on you, said Long Chen. What he was lacking the most was four peak pills because the Luo family had so many four peak experts. Although the High Firmament Academy definitely had the materials to make the pills, the amount that Long Chen required was astonishing. He couldn't make things hard on the Academy. After all, this was the Luo family's matter. To use the Academy's things to raise the Luo family's talents was inappropriate. All right, I'll bring these goods away and I'll immediately start sending you things. Jing Wenlong gave Long Chen a list with the names, qualities, amounts, and production dates of various treasures that he had. Even though he was so familiar with Long Chen, giving this list was part of his duties as part of the Huayan Trading Company, Navaloon. Come once Jing Wenlong left, Long Chen finally thought of those experts that had come from outside the domain. When he asked about them, he learned that Kin Fang had gathered them at the martial stage so that they could exchange pointers with the Academy's disciples. Unfortunately, they were disappointed to find that these experts were not strong. On his own, Zhu Zixin defeated 18 of them in a row, with not one person being able to exchange more than three blows with him. In the end, he was bored and had the newcomer primals who had joined the Academy fight them. 
However, Zhu Zixin didn't laugh at them. He knew that when he had first come, he was much stronger than them. During this time, the reason a gap had been made between them was because he had gone to the Liuo family's honing heavenly staircase, which allowed him to sharpen himself. He was filled with gratitude toward Long Chen, as well as rejoicing in the fact that he had made the right choice back then. If he hadn't gotten so hot-headed as to run to the heavenly swell domain, would he possibly be as powerful as he was right now? The fights between these experts and the Academy's newcomer primals resulted in those experts only winning a minority of the fights. Moreover, when they learned that Zhu Zixin was nothing more than the weakest person amongst Long Chen's subordinates, they almost coughed up blood. They had seen a recording of Qin Feng fighting, and they felt that he was nothing more than a footman. But when Zhu Zixin said that he couldn't even receive three blows from him, those geniuses were dumbfounded. How come they didn't see anything outstanding in their photographic jades? Photographic jades only recorded images, but not the true profundities of a person, let alone that invisible pressure and might that appeared on the battlefield. I'd advise you to not waste time and join the high firmament academy like me. Just follow boss as well, shouted Zhu Zixin. Those experts stared at him. That was actually a very moving thought. Chapter 3246 Becoming Dean Zhu Zixin said that he was about the same as the rest of them, but after spending just one month with Long Chen, he had completely transformed. If Zhu Zixin was telling the truth, then staying here would be a very wise option. It's very simple for you to become disciples of the High Firmament Academy. You just need to pass the exam. But if you want to follow me, then let me say that Boss Long Sen doesn't keep trash by his side. Not everyone is qualified to be like Zhu Zixin. Even if you become disciples of the High Firmament Academy, you won't definitely get to follow me. So think this through. In my eyes, all of you are novices with quite a bit of arrogance. I don't even know where this confidence of yours comes from. The Bloodkill Hall has issued the Bloodkill Order on me. I trust you understand what that means. Without sufficient power, following me is no different than courting death. If you die, then you die. But the main thing is that I would lose face. In the future, Wherever I go, I will be the focal point. If you want to be my attendants, you have to have the corresponding power. Long Chen's voice rang out. Only now did those disciples realize that Long Chen had been secretly watching them. His voice was indifferent and contemptuous, like a king's voice. Quite a few people disliked this as this was clearly an insult. But there was nothing they could do. Long Chen was too powerful. Even his weakest subordinate, Zhu Zixin, was so powerful that none of them could last more than three exchanges against him. Stop looking down on others. Our families, backgrounds, aptitudes, and everything else are all amazing. Our future cultivation paths are wide and open roads, as our elders have long since arranged things for us. Even if we can't beat you now, you'll be tossed behind us in the future shouted one of those experts from outside the domain. What a joke, said Long Chen disdainfully. Does having a family, background, and aptitude mean that you can become an expert? Only an idiot like you would believe it. A good blade must be sharpened. True experts are made through slaughter, while all of you are greenhouse flowers who don't know crap. Don't think that being a primal is something to brag about. Let me tell you, even if Kin Feng was in the Divine Flame Realm, in a one against one, not one of you would survive three blows of his saber. Trash that hasn't even set foot into the battlefield dares to spout such big words. Everyone around you must have lied to you to make you think that you're unrivaled. In truth, you are all trash. If it weren't because you had come from so far away, and that it could count as we are drawn together by fate, I wouldn't even bother to say anything. You're too arrogant. When Long Chen called them trash, those experts were fully enraged. 
they all looked like they were about to throw themselves at long chen when is boss long san not arrogant you should just return to where you came from and continue living around a bunch of boot lickers pray pray that your family's power continues to rise otherwise once a battle erupts people like you will only be pigs for the slaughter said long chen he then turned and left these people were truly a group of children in their families due to their talent they had servants praising them so they weren't much better than idiots no matter what he said to them they wouldn't understand he had already given them their chance once he left those experts felt awkward what were they supposed to do now they were unwilling to leave just like this but if they stayed here they would feel a bit shameless no matter what they chose they would lose face zu Zixion, we're all from the heavenly star domain i've also heard of you is this long chen really so powerful asked one of them suspiciously Navalun. come i don't know how powerful he is but a single slap from him is definitely more than enough to kill all of you since you know me you should know the awkward position of my family you should also know how powerful i am i kindly advised you but you actually suspect my boss i zu Zixion, am quite foolish but i didn't expect you to be even more foolish said zu Zixion coldly his friendliness vanishing now that they were suspecting long chen how about we stay for a while otherwise if we leave like this what will we say proposed one of them all of them had said that they would defeat long chen and bring photographic jades back to prove it if they returned empty-handed what about all that bragging fine we're already here so we might as well treat it as a vacation said another expert with those people taking the lead quite a few people ended up staying in the academy for some they felt like they were humiliated and wanted to leave however what were they supposed to say when they got back after all all that bragging would come to bite them as a result over five hundred disciples from outside the domain decided to stay fortunately the high firmament academy accepted them easily as long as the disciples followed the rules and paid the tuition fee the academy didn't restrict their freedom beyond that furthermore this was the oldest academy of the nine heavens and ten lands although it had declined its foundation was still shocking staying here they could learn many things that would also count as not leaving empty-handed over five hundred primals joined the high firmament academy just like that but the academy didn't express much joy over it it was completely an attitude of if you want to stay then stay but if you want to leave then leave everything was done according to the rules and they weren't given preferential treatment as a result more and more of those disciples felt that the academy was unfathomable furthermore after experiencing the academy's scripture pavilions they began to enthusiastically search for things related to their cultivation techniques in the high firmament academy you could get practically whatever you wanted as long as you had money hence these hedonistic children were finally shaken upon entering the academy these disciples began to charge up the rankings the heaven rankings were for four peak disciples but ever since bai shishi and the others had entered the four peak realm the names on the heaven rankings had completely changed the heaven female alliance occupied half of the top hundred while bai shishi was ranked one her position was unshakable as for long chen ken feng bai ziaol and the others they weren't interested long chen didn't bother competing with bai shishi with the addition of these experts the rankings changed once more the top hundred in particular would change with every passing day the competition was exceptionally intense the entire academy grew livelier due to their addition as a result the competitions on the martial stages continued from dawn until dusk however long chen ignored all of this and went into seclusion 
he had to calm down and comprehend the things that Liuo Zichuan had passed down to him. Using them, he would recreate the first form of split the heavens. But just as Long Chen was going into seclusion, the deputy dean found him. The academy has a mission for you. Are you willing to complete it? What mission? asked a startled Long Chen. How does being the dean of a branch academy sound? asked the deputy dean with a smile. What? Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. Chapter 3247 Vile Dragon Domain Are You Joking With Me? Gobi Dean of a Branch Academy? Long Chen stared at the deputy dean in disbelief. The deputy dean laughed. What would be the point of such a joke? I'm being serious. This is also the will of the dean. Of course, you can accept or refuse. It's up to yourself. The Academy will not force any disciple to do something they don't want to do. Long Chen suddenly thought of something and asked, Does our High Firmament Academy really have branches? How come I've never heard of them? Of course we have them. The High Firmament Academy is the most ancient academy in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. How could we not have branches? If you are interested, I'll explain it to you, said the deputy dean. Long Chen was naturally interested. He hastily poured some tea for the deputy dean and quietly listened to his story. As he explained, Long Chen came to understand just how glorious the original High Firmament Academy was. Their branches were spread throughout the immortal world. As for why they declined, the deputy dean didn't say much. He merely said that some things had happened, resulting in the destruction of countless branch academies, leaving behind only the main academy. The branch academies were still there, but after tens of thousands of years, they were nothing more than ruins. Some had also been occupied by others. Right now, the academy was planning on sending Long Chen to one of those branches. According to the deputy dean, as long as the main academy was present, then the branch academies would still have karmic luck flowing within the ruins. As long as a new tower was built on top of those ruins and ignited, the karmic luck would flow again. Once the karmic luck was activated, the main academy could directly construct a transportation formation connecting the two. In the future, the Academy's disciples could come and go without passing through the Devil Sea. There will probably be many challenges. No. Long Chen was no fool. The Deputy Dean might put it simply, but if it was really so easy, the Academy would have long since done so. Of course it will be difficult. Very, very difficult. Countless forces will not permit such a thing to occur. Of course, that includes Lord Brahma. Even Palace Master Bai Jiantang wanted to try it, but the dean refused to consent to it. However, for some reason, he sent me to ask you, said the deputy dean. Clearly, he was of the opinion that Long Chen shouldn't go. But since the dean had sent him, he had to fulfill his duty. If Lord Brahma is watching, how can we succeed? Even if the Divine Tower is built, once they come, won't we have to run? asked Long Chen in confusion. No. Once the Divine Tower is built, the High Firmament Academy's experts will not permit it to be destroyed by anyone. The main thing is that the tower must be built quickly without others damaging it in the process. That's the main difficulty. All the ruins are being monitored, so any actions we make will be noticed, said the Deputy Dean. That's far too difficult. How can I, a four-peak disciple, possibly do it? demanded Long Chen. This was an impossible task. To build a tower right under people's eyes, with failure spelling death, I feel the same way. But the dean said that you are the only one in the High Firmament Academy that can do this. But don't feel any pressure. The dean also said that you can do it if you want. But if you don't want to do it, then don't force it, said the deputy dean. Is there a reward? Long Chen couldn't help asking. The deputy dean laughed. 
the dean said that you would ask that as long as you can do this then in the future the high firmament academy will be your steadiest support after all you are the dean of a branch academy at any time the high firmament academy will stand behind you furthermore it is the type of support that means no matter the price long chen's heart leaped what did that mean was the academy willing to go to war with lord brahma for him no matter the price that clearly referred to lord brahma the high firmament academy had been acting low-key for so many years so were they announcing their comeback however long chen could hear the confidence in the deputy dean's voice the high firmament academy was truly not afraid of lord brahma but if they weren't afraid of lord brahma why had they been suppressed for so long why were they only starting their counterattack now no matter how long chen racked his brain he was unable to figure it out but this reward truly did move him with such a powerful backer he could do so many things in the future where is the branch academy you haven't said which branch what kind of forces surround it is there any more detailed information asked long chen the branch academy that you will reconstruct is the seventh branch and it is located at the end of the vile dragon domain's dragon spine mountain range the vile dragon domain is different from the heavenly swell domain the human race's cultivators are not the dominant force there it is the opposite the human race can only cultivate there with their tails pressed between their legs the vile dragon domain was once the land of the vile dragon race and thousands of different vile dragons lived there they set up their own independent regime so the wild beasts demonic beasts and devil beasts there ran rampant moreover the spiritual kai there is dense and more suitable for beast cultivation as those beast races dislike the human race the human race has a tough time living there however it is also a land of countless treasures all kinds of precious medicines can be found there thus it is a very dangerous area but humans continue to risk it and go there for adventure in my personal opinion your talent is extraordinary and you are smart but this matter will still be extremely dangerous for you you should carefully consider your decision said the deputy d vile dragon domain long chen suddenly had a thought did the dean want to send him there because he had true dragon essence blood the heavenly swell domain was like a prison others were unable to enter as they pleased and if he wanted to join up with the others he would have to have a way to get out now the loon come however if he simply left without a powerful backer he would also be forced to tuck his tail between his legs and if he could reconstruct the seventh branch academy that would be a solid stronghold for everyone to gather at long chen could also see that this was the high firmament academy's first step in returning to their past glory however what kind of trump cards the academy had or what their plans were they were all unknown to long chen but leaving the heavenly swell domain was at the top of his priority list i'm prepared to try it but i need some time first said long chen the deputy dean nodded there's no rush if you agree then the academy needs to prepare some things however remember do not tell others about this matter no other person can hear of it long chen was startled he wasn't such a talkative person but for the deputy dean to so sternly warn him of it he found it odd vile dragon domain i'm looking forward to it long chen felt a trace of excitement if this step was completed it was one step closer to the day of the dragon blood legion gathering once more chapter three thousand two hundred forty eight peakless pill the sound of a broom sweeping across the ground was constant at this moment an elder was sweeping the floor and beside him stood another elder the latter was the high firmament academy's dean long chen has agreed to it but i still feel like we are starting a bit too soon 
there are still no omens said the dean respectfully there's no choice but to be a bit early it is precisely because the situation is unclear and the lines of fate are muddled that this must be done by the time things are clear and the omens have arrived it will be too late we are all within the board no matter how wise you are can you beat the player controlling the board moreover long chen exists outside the board not restricted by heaven and earth it said that rashness is worse than calmness but calmly waiting for that chance to come is worse than taking the initiative and messing up the board some more in any case you won't be constantly controlled, said the sweeping elder, neither quickly nor slowly. But so many powers are watching in secret. If we do things wrongly, then right and wrong are relative. There is no absolute right or wrong. Something might seem right at this moment, but after a few centuries or millennia, you will find that it was wrong. Being wrong isn't something to be afraid of. The real worrisome thing is being so worried about being wrong that you don't dare to take action. After waiting and waiting, your chance will slip out of reach and you will be fully and truly defeated. We all know that the peace of the immortal world will soon end. It would be best to take action ahead of time. The player waits for the opportunity to ripen, but what is there for us to wait for? If Long Chan is not the destined one, he won't be able to cause any waves before they are drowned. There's no need for you to worry. If he is the destined one, then he exists to defy the heavens. The board will then be flipped. None of the pieces will be able to make the moves that they are supposed to make. That is bad to the player, but good for us. So, don't be afraid of being wrong. The board is already like this. Even if you want to make the wrong move, there are no wrong moves to make, said the sweeping elder. Disciple understands. But this operation is too dangerous. Should we not notify the battle god palace and have them secretly protect him, said the dean. No, the battle god palace's power cannot be exposed. But if we let Long Chen go just like this, it's no different than sending him to his death. The dean frowned. There is no way around that. Some things look dangerous on the surface, but aren't actually dangerous. Some things look safe, but can cause a calamity. Long Chen is not like other nine-star heirs. He is not so reckless. Since he has agreed, he definitely has his own method. You just need to watch in secret. Are you anxious because your granddaughter and grandson are going? The sweeping elder suddenly paused and looked at the dean. The dean was embarrassed and nodded. If Long Chen goes, Bai Ziol would be enraged if he didn't get to go as well. If such a big thing was kept from Shishi, who knows what that stubborn girl would do? After all, she has always been the most outstanding in her generation. If she doesn't participate in this mission, she will find it unacceptable. It really is a headache. Bai Ziol had now become Long Chen's faithful follower, the kind that couldn't be thrown off even if Long Chen tried. After returning from the Luo family's territory, Bai Ziol's entire temperament changed. Because of it, even his father and mother were moved. The current Bai Ziol was no longer a child, but a true expert who could stand tall. Furthermore, he had begun seriously studying pupil arts from his mother, and the amount of work he was putting in was gobsnacking. He was like a completely different person. As for Bai Shishi, although she expressed indifference toward the conflict between the Liu family and the Chu family, the dean was well aware she was not happy about this matter. However, that was not the academy's matter, and she didn't have any deep relationship with the Liu family's disciples. Because of this, Long Chen hadn't brought her, and there was no way for her to fault him for that. Even so, the dean could clearly feel that she was displeased over it. If this matter with the Branch Academy was also kept from her, her stubbornness might make her feel that the Academy no longer cared about her and was focusing on Long Chen. 
that would have terrible consequences but to have a group of children go to such a dangerous place how could the dean be at ease no matter how high his cultivation base no matter how dignified his status was those were still his grandchildren although he didn't normally show concern for these children he secretly watched their growth his emotions were simply buried within his heart if these two children were to go with long chen without any accompanying experts to protect them how could he possibly be at ease the dean was embarrassed to have this question posed to him after all although he had posed his concerns with dignity the truth was that it was out of selfishness the sweeping elder smiled the children have grown and it is time for them to go out for tempering you cannot protect them for a lifetime don't worry Ziol and shishi are not fated to die young let the children go in peace the future of this world belongs to them and they will create that future themselves hearing that the dean relaxed quite a bit he thanked the sweeping elder and left it Zheng Wenlong's efficiency was truly great. On the third day after he left, the Huayun Trading Company's people sent over an ocean's worth of ingredients for refining pills. Those were all the materials that Long Chen needed, and they could not be grown. For example, the essence blood of spirit beasts, gold essence, earth essence, wind spirit stone powder, Xuan water essence, etc. As for plants, he could obtain them in the high firmament academy and grow them in the primal chaos space. He could get as many as he wanted. Coincidentally, Huo Long also awakened at this time. It had devoured the flame devil's core and was finally able to maintain human form. After that, the first thing she did was hug Long Chen. Huo Linger was still as fiery as fire. She was very cute the kind of cuteness that made people like her from the bottom of their hearts. Also, Huo Linger's flame energy had grown immensely. However, the flame devil's flames were restricted by the immortal world's laws. Rather than strengthening Huo Linger's flames, they had caused the amount of energy that she could hold to increase by over a hundredfold. Even though there was no qualitative rise, that was no problem looking for higher rankings heavenly flames could be done slowly anyway a high firmament academy's heavenly flames were all very ordinary and there was no need to waste money to buy them with these materials long chen immediately got to work he used the dim and moon furnace to refine the powders and used the moon and star refining furnace to refine the powders into pills the day-night furnace's god seal had been destroyed by long chen and the item spirit's slave seal had been absorbed and erased by lei linger hence this pill furnace was renamed by long chen to the demon moon furnace however this pill furnace was incredibly powerful with an item spirit present but not the ability to control it he could only use it to refine powders through refining these powders the pill furnaces item spirit slowly got stronger once its spirituality was strong enough it could finally work together with long chen to refine pills four peak pills were refined for four peak experts based on their needs there were many kinds of them and they were normally named by the main requirement for example bai shishi required metal energy as her number one priority then her four peak pills would be called metal peak pills the luo family focused on the bloodline so their pills were called blood peak pills long chen first refined two furnaces of blood peak pills and then let huo linger and the moon and star refining furnace refine them themselves after that he sat to the side and considered the pills that he needed after passing his tribulation the violet tower star's pill formula appeared in his head but there was also another formula the formula for the peakless pill chapter three thousand two hundred forty nine sending charcoal in snow peakless pills this was a pill formula that he had never seen in the academy nor had he ever heard of it 
but it was something that had awakened within him along with the violet tower pill. Long Chen knew that these were his four peak pills. The peakless pills required 3,600 medicinal ingredients. That was over ten times the requirement of ordinary four peak pills. Long Chen had not advanced a single level in the four peak realm because he couldn't refine the pills. For ordinary cultivators, medicinal pills were just supplementary aid that helped people better absorb the spiritual kai of heaven and earth. It was to get twice the result with half the effort. However, for Long Chen, if he relied on simply absorbing the spiritual kai of heaven and earth, to cultivate, his speed would be so slow that it would only cause despair. Furthermore, due to being rejected by the heavenly Taoists, it was very difficult for him to absorb the spiritual kai. Even if he used his divine ring and forcibly sucked it in, it would still be far from enough. Thus, medicinal pills were Long Chen's only option for rapidly raising his realm. Peakless pills contained practically all the forms of energy within a cultivator's body that Long Chen could think of. Furthermore, these energies were evenly balanced. If an ordinary four-peak expert consumed one, it would only harm them. If all their attributes were raised evenly, it would be a complete waste of grabbing those heavenly Tao runes in their tribulation. If all their attributes were even, they would be crippled. This peakless pill was poisoned to others, but Long Chen had to eat them to raise his realm. Refining these pills was also troublesome. The formula had high requirements for the alchemist. That was why Long Chen didn't directly start off with refining the peakless pills. First, he practiced his skills with the blood peak pills for the Luo family. Fortunately, Huo Linger was able to split the work with him. As he used the demon moon furnace to refine medicinal powders, Huo Linger and the moon and star refining furnace refined those powders into pills. As they refined, the moon and star refining furnace improved. It was starting to be able to control the flame within the furnace to the point of condensing furnaces within the furnace. This referred to condensing multiple fill furnaces made of fire inside of it. At first, when it first gained this ability, it was only able to condense nine furnaces inside of it. In other words, it could refine nine furnaces of pills at the same time, sharply increasing the efficiency. Now that Huo Linger had transformed as well, with that higher level of flame control, it was able to condense 81 internal furnaces. In other words, it was like refining 81 furnaces of pills at once. That was a shocking ability. Every refinement would produce 729 pills. That would definitely scare a bunch of people to death if they learned of it. However, while the amount was shocking, the quality was decreased. With such large-scale refinement, it was impossible for treasure pills to appear. But they were essentially all top-grade pills. Although their medicinal effect was a bit inferior from average top-grade spirit pills, after they went through Lei Linger's purification, their effect was essentially on par with the top-grade spirit pills sold on the market. That was enough to satisfy Long Chen. The Liuo family's disciples' four-peak pills were usually simply middle-grade. They rarely got high-grade pills, let alone top-grade pills. However, the Liuo family actually had their own methods for dealing with this. Middle-grade pills contained too many impurities and pill toxins. That could cause a big problem if too much was consumed. However, due to possessing the honing heavenly staircase, when the pill toxins in their bodies accumulated to a certain density, they would use the honing heavenly staircase's power to forcibly expel those pill toxins. It was a good method, but stripping the body of pill toxins was like removing a tumor. It was very painful, and left them recuperating for one to three months afterwards. However, top-grade pills contained very little pill toxins, so little that it was essentially negligible. That was why they were a hundred times more expensive than middle-grade pills. Naturally, their medicinal effect was also many times greater. 
Thus, when comparing the two, the Liuo family chose to mostly use the lower-cost middle-grade pills. The primals would require over ten times the medicinal pills that ordinary disciples would require. That was what vexed Liuo Changwu. But this was not a problem for Long Chen. As long as he was given a bit of time, it could be easily handled. After all, medicinal pills could be produced in large numbers on his side. In just a day, Huo Linger helped him refine 50,000 blood peak pills. Long Chen immediately had Liuo Bing and Liuo Ning send those pills back. When Liuo Chen went, and Liuo Chen Wu saw those 50,000 top grade blood peak pills, they almost didn't dare to believe their eyes. Furthermore, Long Chen also had Liuo Bing send word that this was only a portion of them. There would be more blood peak pills. Problems that could be resolved with medicinal pills were not problems. After their initial delight faded, the two of them began to wonder. Did the family head suddenly leave because he had long since expected this? Liuo Bing and Liuo Nain were also shocked when they saw the pills inside the spatial ring. Long Chen was actually having them transport such precious things. When they returned to the High Firmament Academy, Liuo Ning immediately went to complain about it to Long Chen. How had he not told them in advance what they were transporting? What if they had lost them? Wouldn't they have to kill themselves just to pay for their sins? Long Chen simply smiled. He could get as many of these things as needed. Furthermore, if they were told about them in advance, wouldn't their nervousness immediately sell them out? An ordinary four-peak primal of the Liuo family would take three to four blood peak pills to reach the first heaven stage. Of course, less could be used, but then it would take more time. It was simply a matter of efficiency. These 50,000 pills were enough for them to cultivate for several months. After those months, Liuo Linger would have refined even more pills. After the blood peak pills, Long Chen refined several furnaces of other four peak pills for others. He needed the proper proportions of four peak pills. He couldn't refine too many of one kind. Once he felt like it was about enough, he would switch to a different variant. It was also during this time that Long Chen stealthily switched out the fruit in Mu Qingyan's fruit bowl for heavenly Dao fruit. Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, and Zhang Ziyu all consumed them, and suddenly awakened their primal bloodline. The three of them were ecstatic, and had no idea what happened. The heavenly Tao fruit gave Long Chen a grand aspiration of raising a primal army. Of course, the Yuo family was the true target. But Mu Qingyan and the others couldn't simply be left in the dust. Furthermore, Liuo Bing and Liuo Ning had become primals. He couldn't favor only them. Mu Qingyan always called him Brother San, viewing him as a real brother. After arranging this, Huo Ling refined the powders of the peakless pill, while Long Chen prepared to refine the pills for himself. 3,600 medicinal powders flowed into his pill furnace. Suddenly, he sensed something wrong, and looking up, his expression changed. What is this? Chapter 3000 250. The peakless pill unpermitted by heaven and earth. Long Chen had just sent the medicinal powders into the pill furnace when he sensed the sky above him change. This pill is not approved by the heavenly Daos. Can it even be refined? At this moment, Long Chen's expression changed. As the sky was rumbling, this area became a forbidden space. Long Chen's medicinal pill was no longer able to absorb the energy of heaven and earth. And without the energy of heaven and earth, it was impossible to refine a pill. It was like kneading dough without water. It wouldn't condense in the end. There is such a thing. This space had been sealed, so he couldn't absorb anything. However, Long Chen continued refining and, in the end, a pile of medicinal ash was produced. It seems that this peakless pill is a bit odd. The heavenly Daos weren't rejecting me that time. They were rejecting the peakless pill. 
as soon as the refinement was done the world returned to normal but as soon as the next refinement started when the powders started to merge this space became restricted once more long chen tried several times and received the same results the peakless pills were not permitted to exist in this world Guo linger you've memorized it right try to refine it in the primal chaos space said long chen after failing several times however these attempts allowed huo linger to memorize the method long chen's soul also entered the primal chaos space and he tried to refine the peakless pill once more here everything went smoothly however just as the pill condensed the primal chaos space shuddered slightly long chen clearly sensed that the primal chaos space had sucked some kind of energy inside when he opened the furnace he saw a mix of black and white there were medicinal pills that looked like living eyes however as they gave off no fragrance or aura there was no way for long chen to guess their quality they seemed like stars with black and white patterns moving across them manifesting their own orbit long chen then picked one up unable to see any clues he carefully put it in his mouth and swallowed it when it entered his stomach he felt a majestic energy spread throughout his body it was so powerful that it shook his insides to the point that he almost coughed up blood long chen was shocked it had to be known that he was currently in the four peak realm and his body had been strengthened by the true dragon essence blood but he was unable to bear the impact of this medicinal pill he felt like a volcano was erupting inside of him and that energy ravaged every inch of his body at this moment the one hundred eight thousand stars shuddered intensely strange power poured toward them and their divine flames erupted like oil had splashed onto fire as the divine flames burned long chen grunted and collapsed he felt like his entire body was swelling his blood flesh tendons bones and even his soul were expanding with the primal chaos space at the core that mysterious energy began to circulate and long chen felt like he was going to explode it didn't feel like he had just swallowed a pill but an entire world moreover the pill contained all the energy of that world including its own laws as those laws were absorbed by long chen he felt like they were running rampant throughout his body he could clearly feel that his blood flesh tendons bones and everything else were branded by those laws suddenly while enduring the pain long chen had a thought the immortal world refused to allow the peakless pill to exist in this world was it because it was absorbing the laws of the immortal world long chen recalled how the primal chaos space was sucking in some kind of energy when the peakless pills condensed now he seemed to understand after an incense stick's worth of time long chen felt the pain fade however he still felt swollen like he would burst long chen then activated his inner sense looking inside of himself he saw that countless strange runes had appeared in every corner of his body it wasn't just his flesh and blood even his mind see had countless starry runes within it now what is this long chen tried to connect to those runes and found that there was no reaction no matter what he did he was unable to control them after a long time the swelling feeling faded and long chen tried to move his body he felt like his body had gotten stronger but it still felt numb so he wasn't too sure however long chen could clearly feel that his spiritual strength had grown stronger with those starry runes in his mind see his spiritual strength underwent a transformation could it be that the peakless pills would improve all aspects of a person my four peak realm is more like a peakless realm wondered long chen the nine star hegem and body arts cultivation path was actually so different from other people's feng fu alieth life fate and the one hundred eight thousand stars they all have those runes on them 
After that, Long Chen unleashed a punch. Rumbling rang out. When his fist paused, space twisted around it. It was a bizarre sight. Ah! Oh. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. These runes can block the immortal world's laws from restricting me. In other words, when others use magical arts against me, I can actually use these runes to block them. Long Chen was incredibly excited. Yuo Zichuan had said that only a portion of the heavenly Tao's laws approved of him and allowed him to borrow their power. On the other hand, 99% of the laws wished to suppress him, resulting in his magical arts being limited. Split the heavens in particular, went against the will of the heavenly Tao's, thus a great deal of power had to be expended to use it. There was also his strongest attack, the world extermination flame lotus. Due to the Nirvana scripture, the heavenly Tao's could not stop him from absorbing flame energy. But the world extermination flame lotus had a long cast time, let alone against a terrifying expert like Luo Zichuan. It was difficult to create an opening to use this technique even against the likes of Gui Yun and Kuuya. It couldn't be unleashed against people stronger than him, and using it against people weaker than him was meaningless. Through Luo Zichuan's training, Long Chen had seen countless weaknesses that he had. But ultimately, he had no way around those weaknesses due to the suppression of the heavenly Tao's. Fortunately, the appearance of these runes gave him hope. Right now, he couldn't control them because they were too weak. But once they grew stronger, the restriction that the heavenly Tao's could impose on him would weaken. That made him feel like his future was bright. When the numbness in his body finally faded, Long Chen consumed the second peakless pill. This time, there was no pain as the medicinal energy was immediately absorbed by the countless runes. They clearly grew a bit larger. Now, Long Chen could sense that they were nourished by the medicinal pill. His body was also changing, his power rising. Damn, let's see who in the same realm dares to mess with Boss Long San now. Long Chen clenched his fists with a confident smile on his face. However, when he consumed the third peakless pill, his smile stiffened. Chapter 3251 Dragon Blood Warrior Kai Yu Long Chen found that when the third medicinal pill entered his stomach, its power remained condensed and didn't scatter. It formed a lump of energy, and the runes didn't absorb it. It seemed that they were satisfied and couldn't eat any more. Perhaps they were too full to consume more and needed to slowly digest this energy. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a situation. After just two pills, he felt that his physical body had strengthened a great deal. As a result, he didn't dare to imagine just how powerful his physical body would grow once he reached the peak of the Four Peak Realm. At the same time, he sank into thought. Looking at the primal chaos space, he had a feeling that it was bestowing some kind of indescribable energy to the peakless pills. The immortal world's heavenly Tao's refused to permit the birth of the peakless pill, perhaps because the pill would absorb some kind of taboo energy. But the primal chaos space somehow gave that energy to Long Chen, even the immortal world didn't wish to give him this energy. Long Chen didn't know what it was, but he was growing increasingly confident that the primal chaos space was greatly connected to the nine star hegemon body art. Unfortunately, he knew too little about this treasure that he had obtained from the GLI secret realm. GLI secret realm. GLI race. The two names were the same. Just how were they connected? Just as he sank into thought, Kin Feng came rushing over anxiously. Boss, another brother of the Dragon Blood Legion has come. Long Chen was startled. Did something happen to him? Long Chen rushed over to the infirmary to see a familiar face. He was Kai Yu. Long Chen naturally knew the name of every Dragon Blood warrior. He belonged to the Second Corps and thus was one of Lai Kai's subordinates. But at the moment, 
he was on his last breaths and unconscious it looked as if he might lose his life at any moment our ferry was just about to be activated when this brother charged over saying that he was from the dragon blood legion and he wanted to see long chen then he fell unconscious we didn't have any powerful healing experts on our ship and were barely able to conserve his life with medicinal pills my apologies said an expert from the huayun trading company long chen carefully examined caillou's wounds his insides had been shattered and his soul was damaged moreover his body seemed to be under some kind of curse even so the high firmament academy's healing experts were truly powerful these terrible wounds had already been suppressed so his life was in no danger he would slowly recover you're too courteous i will remember this favor long chen bowed to that expert from the huayun trading company the huayun trading company was truly a terrifying existence they naturally had goods that had to come and go through the heavenly swell domain thus they needed to cross the devil's sea their merchant ships had special runes on them that made it so that they were essentially never attacked while crossing the devil's sea with every crossing some people who wanted safe passage through the devil sea would pay a toll to get into the merchant ship most experts that came here and went through the devil sea chose to use the huey and trading company's merchant ships although it was expensive it was rather safe this time just as they had been about to move out caillou had come flying over after spitting out some rushed words he fell unconscious because all the experts from the Huayun Trading Company knew Long Chen's name, they brought Kai Yu along. Once they were through the Devil Sea, they brought him to the High Firmament Academy. This person was very courteous. He specifically said that Zheng Wenlong had just left when Kai Yu arrived, so they hadn't run into each other. Zheng Wenlong was unaware of this matter, so he shouldn't be blamed. Long Chen was extremely grateful to this person so he immediately paid for the ferry fee and the medicinal pills after that that person said some polite words and took the money after all this was a business relationship long chen naturally wouldn't let them lose out however if long chen had overpaid the huayun trading company would also be unhappy to use the huayun trading company's words their money had to be earned using their own abilities not simply charity from others after sending off that expert from the huayun trading company kin feng looked at the unconscious caillou he then clenched his teeth angrily there are seven wounds on his body that could have been fatal furthermore his body seems to have been poisoned this is clearly a plot using poison just who would be so despicable the dragon blood warriors were all close on the battlefield they wouldn't hesitate to receive the enemy's attacks for their brothers hence seeing kai yu in this state provoked kin feng's killing intent the situation probably isn't simple kai yu has actually awakened the primal bloodline on his own he must have encountered his own special opportunity furthermore his physical body has been strengthened several times Although he can't compare to you, he's much stronger than other primals. Don't rush. Once Caillou awakens, we'll know everything. The Dragonblood Legion won't provoke trouble, but we're not afraid of it either. If Caillou is in the right, it doesn't matter who the other side is. We'll make them pay the price. Long Chan was angrier than anyone when he saw Caillou's state. He had a deep understanding of every dragon blood warrior. They were all straightforward and sincere men, so Kai Yu couldn't possibly have done anything wrong. After a day, with the treatment of the infirmary's experts, Kai Yu gradually awakened. When he opened his eyes and saw Long Chen and Kin Feng, he wept. But, good brother, don't get emotional. Your soul has been damaged and too many emotions can further tear it. Long Chen and Kin Feng were both aggrieved. 
This man that was unafraid of death was actually weeping. Boss, I'm sorry. I betrayed the Dragonblood Legion. Caillou continued to weep. What are you talking about? asked Long Chen. Caillou wiped away his tears. He then lowered his head, not even looking at them. When I ascended to the immortal world, I joined the Yuhua Prefecture's Yuhua Palace. Because my aptitude wasn't bad and I was willing to work for it, I rose to the level of a core disciple. As Kai Yu explained, Long Chen and Kin Feng came to know that Kai Yu had had much better luck than Kin Feng. The Yuhua Prefecture was located in the Heavenly Star Domain, which was Su Zixian's homeland. However, the Yuhua Prefecture was on the other edge of the Heavenly Star Domain, so it was further away from the Heavenly Swell Domain. The Yuhua Palace was the number one force in the Yuhua Prefecture, and it had an immortal king standing over it. It was a large existence, even within the Heavenly Star Domain as a whole. Kai Yu's luck was quite good after ascending. He ended up right in the Yuhua Prefecture and joined the number one power, the Yuhua Palace. Due to his aptitude and shocking killing power, the Yuhua Palace broke the rules and accepted him inside, and he soared like a shooting star. In just a few months, he rose to become a core disciple. After becoming a core disciple, he still stood out amongst the crowd. He then received the favor of a senior apprentice sister and obtained qualifications to attend a baptism. In just a single baptism, Kai Yu managed to awaken his primal bloodline. Kyu was extremely grateful to that senior apprentice sister. Both of their characters meshed, and they gradually became lovers. However, this was also the cause of a calamity. Chapter 3252 Spirit Psychic Bloodline Kai Yu's senior apprentice sister had the beauty of a flower and the radiance of the moon. She was a famous beauty of the Yuhua Palace, and she was also very talented, with an illustrious background. For a woman with such beauty and talent to favor Kai Yu was a great blessing, not alone. Calm, but then, Jiang Bei, the great grandson of the palace master, also loved this beauty. However, she didn't like his impatient and fretful character. On the other hand, Kai Yu's arrival instantly moved her heart. After all, every dragonblood warrior possessed a bold, powerful, and fearless character. Compared to Jiang Bei, Kai Yu was far superior. Although Jiang Bei possessed a powerful background, talent, and aptitude, this woman preferred a man like Kai Yu. She was even willing to have a falling out with Jiang Bei for him, resulting in trouble. The news of Long Chen's accomplishments in the Nine Prefecture Convention eventually reached Kai Yu. At that point, he was stuck in a difficult position. He wanted to join Long Chen immediately, but crossing the Devil Sea was incredibly dangerous. Furthermore, he was always in the Yuhua Palace and had no opportunity to come into contact with the Huayan Trading Company. Thus, he went to consult his senior apprentice sister. However, when she learned that he wished to leave, she cried, feeling like he was abandoning her. She was less important than his so-called boss to him. So, Caillou was caught in a difficult position. On one hand, he had sworn to follow his boss to death, but on the other hand, he had a lover whom he had deep emotions for. She had also helped him out immensely during this time. Seeing her crying, ultimately, with a mix of shame and a sense of responsibility, Caillou stayed. This was why Caillou couldn't look Long Chen and Kin Feng in the eye. In his view, this was already a kind of betrayal. His senior apprentice sister was delighted that Kai Yu would stay behind, and he was also happy to see her happy. However, good things didn't last forever. When Kai Yu went out hunting with some new disciples, those disciples actually poisoned him. A batch of Yuhua palace experts then came out to kill him. After killing those new disciples, Kai Yu was surrounded by over ten primals in the same realm as him. As he was poisoned and got several serious injuries, he was sure that death had come for him. Hence, 
he was prepared to drag a few others with him. Just then, he inadvertently saw a cloud swallow foraging for food and then grabbed its claw. Feeling startled, it flew away. The cloud swallow was a spirit beast. Although it was that powerful and was very cowardly, its flying speed was shocking. Caillou was flown to some unknown location before being unable to hold on any longer. He then fell from the sky. At that moment, the poison had entered deep into his body, and he had no antidote. Luckily, he then saw the merchant ship of the Huayun Trading Company. Without thinking about it, he charged over and said that he was from the Dragon Blood Legion and that he wanted to see Long Chen. After that, he didn't recall anything else. Boss, Kim Feng, I'm sorry. Kai Yu was choked with sobs, crying like a child. What nonsense are you talking about? If you abandoned your lover, you wouldn't even be qualified to be our brother. Even if you came, you'd be kicked out of the Dragonblood Legion. As a man, you naturally must know what your shoulders are carrying. If you let your woman suffer, all the Dragonblood warriors will look down on you. Long Chen shook his head. Many thanks, boss. Hearing that, a knot in Kai Yu's heart finally came undone. We're all brothers. What's the point of being so courteous? Hurry up and tell us whether those killers were sent by that Jiang Bei Diao, demanded Kin Feng. He only cared about who had wounded Kai Yu. Brother Kin, it was Jiang Bei. Kai Yu thought that he hadn't said it clearly. What Bei Hian? He's no good bird. Speak, was it him? We'll settle things with him. Fuck, he dares to provoke the Dragonblood Legion. He doesn't know how death is written, said Kin Feng darkly. I'm fine. I feel like I can handle this matter, said Kai Yu with his head down. Are you asking for a beating? You don't view me as a brother? Raged Kin Feng. He grabbed Kai Yu's collar. I, I... Kai Yu's face was forced up, showing his shame. Explain yourself, demanded Kin Feng. Kai Yu took a deep breath. The ones who attacked me were Jiang Bei subordinates. There were eight of them, and it was clearly a trap. He wanted to get rid of me so much that he was willing to kill the other disciples who went out with me. He's been crazy. Since he failed this time, he will definitely set up eyes throughout the Yuhua Palace. As long as I dare to go back, he'll send people to kill me. He is the great grandson of the current palace master. He's also talented and powerful. It can be said he is unstoppable within the Yuhua Palace. I'm afraid that. You're afraid that I'm not a match for him? asked Long Chen. Jiang Bei's character might be trash but he has a spirit psychic bloodline. He can summon beasts to fight for him. Adding on his own power, he can beat a half-step immortal king. He has power comparable to an immortal king, said Kai Yu, clenching his teeth. Although Kai Yu detested Jiang Bei, the latter was too powerful, and Kai Yu wasn't on the same level as him. He wanted revenge, but he was unable to do it. A spirit psychic bloodline comparable to an immortal king. Kin Feng sucked in a cold breath of air. That guy was truly terrifying then. He already possessed such power in the Four Peak Realm. Interesting. Let's go see that Jiang Bei. Long Chen smiled. In the heavenly swell domain, he was already unmatched in the same realm. He had been a bit arrogant before, but then Yuo Zichuan had beaten that arrogance back. Now he knew that he was still a frog at the bottom of a well. If he wanted to get stronger, he had to spread his gaze further. Only by challenging experts could he know where he was lacking. But Long Chen waved his hand. Focus on recovering. Once you're fully recovered, have Kin Feng bring you to the Yuo family for some honing. Then we'll go find him and those people that attacked you. It's been unbearably boring around here lately. It's time to get some exercise. Last time, Long Chen hadn't even gotten a real chance to fight in the Chu family. 
he didn't know just how great the difference between him and an immortal king was. Naturally, an immortal king like Liuo Zichuan only appeared once in a thousand years. Hence, how much stronger was Long Chen compared to an ordinary immortal king? He had the desire to find out. He heard that Mo Nian was able to make even world kings unable to touch him. If he was already so strong, then Long Chen couldn't fall behind. Mo Nian had spread his name throughout the immortal world, while Long Chen's name only resounded throughout the heavenly swell domain. How could he accept that? Long Chen had Kin Fen look after Kai Yu. After that, he went to see the deputy dean. When can you give me the status of the branch academy's dean? I'm preparing to go out, one. Bei is a crane. Kin Feng says Bei Dao slash Bei Niao, meaning penis slash bird. Chapter 3253, Crossing the Devil Sea Now, Long Chen obtained a white robe with golden embroidery, a belt, a golden crown, an official seal, and a new status plate. Every single thing was marked with the High Firmament Academy's specific mark, which possessed a specific spirit that could not be faked. These were all proof of status. Even before reaching the Seventh Branch Academy, Long Chen had obtained the title of Dean. In other words, he was already the Dean of the Academy's Seventh Branch. However, right now, the only member of the Seventh Branch was Long Chen. This status was precisely what he wanted. Just how much face did he have now? He was the youngest dean in the history of the High Firmament Academy. After letting Kai Yu recuperate for two days, Long Chen sent Kai Yu and Ken Feng to the Luo family along with the newly refined Blood Peak pills. That way, Kai Yu could use the Honing Heavenly Staircase. During these days, the medicinal energy stored in Long Chen's body was finally absorbed by those runes. His body then shuddered and a majestic aura flowed within his body. The first heaven stage, Long Chen felt like the runes in his body had grown a bit. They were also actively moving within his body. After reaching the first heaven stage, Long Chen's aura didn't change that much. But his body was silently changing. Some of those changes were imperceptible to even Long Chen. Just three peakless pills had allowed Long Chen to reach the first heaven stage. That was a nice surprise. It seemed that he wouldn't have to stuff himself with the peakless pills just to advance. Eating so many pills all day made him want to throw up. At least, he could avoid that. Long Chen then consumed another peakless pill, and its energy was quickly absorbed by those runes but the second pill once more stayed condensed. Clearly, those runes needed to slowly absorb this energy. Zhu Zixin and Bai Xiaol were the busiest these days. Both of them had become the big brothers of these newcomers. Bai Xiaol had been bitterly studying the three flower pupils with his mother. After learning everything he could, he started using the newcomers as his test subjects. They were fully convinced by his power. It was the same with Zhu Zixin. He was also from outside the domain and often exchanged pointers with them. Although Zhu Zixin's power wasn't actually that great, that depended on who he was compared to. He couldn't compare to Kin Feng, but for these amateurs, he was very powerful. In just a bit of time, they were all familiar with each other. These arrogant, Fellows only understood how terrifying Long Chan was after Zhu Zixin's teachings. Hence, they grew more and more curious about him. After a few days, Kin Feng and Kai Yu returned. Long Chen then gathered the two of them, as well as Bai Xiaol and Zhu Zixin, and just as he was preparing to move out, Bai Shishi came. What are you here for? asked a startled Long Chen. After not seeing each other for a couple of days, Bai Shishi's cultivation base had shockingly reached the fourth heaven stage. She was now a mid-four peak expert. Long Chen had just started refining pills, so Bai Xiaol and Kin Feng were also in the first heaven stage along with him. 
On the other hand, by she she had used her own money to buy top grade four peak pills from the Pill Institute. She had money, so she wasn't lacking medicinal pills. Her aura was also extremely condensed. There was no sign of her rapid rate of advancement causing her foundation to grow unsteady. Bai Shishi's talent was truly shocking. Today's Bai Shishi was wearing golden robes. But her hair, which was normally in a high imperial bun, had been let loose and flowed down her back. Her beauty was still as moving as ever, but there was now a sharpness to her aura that made others not dare to get close. What do you think? asked Bai Shishi. What does that mean? asked Long Chen. What are you planning on doing? I'm going to help my brother get his revenge. And afterward? Afterward. How did you know? Long Chen was surprised. He was preparing to go straight to the vile dragon domain after handling Kai Yu's matter. The mission that the academy had given him was a secret. The deputy dean had personally given it to him and told him not to tell anyone else. So how did Bai Shishi know? You want to fight over the position of dean with me? Long Chen asked with a worried expression. I'll fight over your head. Bai Shishi rolled her eyes. Do you think I care about some empty title? I want to go out for tempering. Only then did Long Chen solemnly say, You can come, but outside you'll have to listen to me. You can't be willful and reckless. Bai Shishi was very stubborn. If the two of them did not agree on something and ended up in a fight, Long Chen would go crazy. If I feel like you're right, I'll naturally listen. Long Chen's expression sank, seeing that Bai Shishi laughed. How are you such a petty man? I'm just joking. You will be the leader outside. Bai Shishi was actually quite afraid of this petty characteristic because Long Chen did have the authority to reject her participation. Only then did Long Chen's expression soften. As for Zhu Zixin, he was meeting Bai Shishi for the first time and was dumbstruck by her beauty. Kai Yu then glanced at Kin Feng stealthily. Kin Feng simply shrugged, indicating that there was nothing to do about it. Their boss simply had such a good fate with women. What are you two doing? Are you playing eye games? Seeing the two of them stealthily passing intentful looks, Long Chen turned on them. After that, their small group quietly left the academy. Just then, Bai Shishi realized that something was wrong. She asked, This isn't a merchant ship crossing point. Where are you bringing us? Long Chen shook his head. The Huayan Trading Company's merchant ship will only come back in seven days. I can't wait that long. You want to cross the Devil Sea? exclaimed Bai Shishi. Yes. You're crazy. Bai Shishi was speechless. Long Chen really was capable of doing anything. However, since she had come out with him, she didn't want to make a fuss. She didn't want others to think that she was afraid. Long Chen and the others sat through transportation formations and quickly reached the Devil Sea. The flat sea water was black. This was not the Ying Prefecture, but another land that bordered the sea. By flying in a straight line here, as long as nothing unexpected occurred, they would reach the other side in just a day. However, even the Huayan Trading Company's merchant ships wouldn't be so brazen as to fly so rapidly. They would fly at a calm speed, so one day of travel would turn into several days. When Zhu Zixin had crossed the Devil Sea, it had taken him several days. That was because he had gotten lost midway and ended up taking a longer route. The Devil Sea was like a winding river. Some areas were deeper than others, so the right spot should be chosen for crossing it. When the flying boat left the land, Long Chen sent the boat at max speed across the sea. The air then rumbled as it shot through the sky. Boom! In just a short moment, giant waves burst out of the sea, and a large figure broke through, its mouth wide open as it attempted to swallow them whole. Chapter 3254 Strange but Marvelous Idea No Way We're This Unlucky
Zhu Zixin cried out in shock. They had just entered the Devil Sea and could still see land behind them, but they were already being attacked. Kin Feng slashed his saber, and that enormous monster was cut in two. It was nothing more than a four-peak realm sea demon. However, after it was slain, the sea around them seemed to boil. Countless sea demons then began rushing over. I don't understand. The few of us aren't even a snack for them. Why do they want to eat us? exclaimed Su Zixin. Our bodies are the best nourishment for them. It is said that they view our human race as human pills for their cultivation. In the desolate era, our human race was viewed as food for countless other races. They consumed us to strengthen themselves. However, now the human race is stronger, and it's our turn to kill them. We can extract their essence blood and refine it into medicine. He he, it really is a turn of fate, said Kin Fei. He stood at the front of the flying boat, constantly slaying the sea demons that approached them. Then why didn't they want to eat me when I crossed the Devil Sea? muttered Su Zixin. Perhaps they felt that eating you would affect their intelligence? joked Kin Feng. Eh? Countless sea demons attacked. Zhu Zixin, Kin Feng, and Kai Yu killed them, but they were endless. The three of them had no idea when they would be able to kill them all. Bai Shishi couldn't help giving a reminder. Long Chen, this is both dangerous and slow. Don't tell me that you're planning on killing your way to the other shore. Do you know that if the deep sea devils are drawn out, then even a world king might not be able to escape? Causing a huge disturbance here will definitely draw them out, and then all of us will be doomed. From the start, Bai Shishi had felt that this way of crossing the Devil's Sea was unreliable. They had so many people, so they were too big of a target. It was all too easy to draw the attention of the sea demons. Don't worry. Since you could think of it, I am also capable of that. Do I look like a fool? said Long Chan a bit irritably. Did he really need a reminder for this? Fine, I suppose telling you the truth will only anger you, said Bai Shishi indifferently. Long Chen laughed. So, even Bai Shishi could be funny at times. That was beyond his expectations. Zio, control the three-tailed fish monster, shouted Long Chen suddenly. As soon as his voice rang out, their vision darkened. Their flying boat was swallowed by a giant three-tailed fish. Its body was both long and slender, like a pole. It was incredibly fast. This was a fourth-rank sea demon. After killing so many third-rank sea demons, they had finally drawn out a fourth rank. Furthermore, it was one of the fastest varieties of fourth-rank sea demons. Yes, by Zyol formed hand seals. At this moment, his three flower pupils activated, and the mark of his eyes appeared within the eyes of the fish. Ha ha, it's done. Bai Sayo laughed. His hard work cultivating with his mother had caused him to grow increasingly familiar with his pupil arts. He instantly controlled this sea demon. Well done. Avid carry the flying boat and bring us away, said Long Chen with praise. Bai Zayol could finally be depended upon. This fish was like an arrow bringing them away at shocking speed. Furthermore, there were no waves or wind on the Devil's Sea. By fastening the flying boat to the fish's back, it was fast, steady, and safe. Its speed was several times greater than the flying boat. Some sea demons noticed them, but they didn't have this fish monster's speed. After chasing a bit, they were lost far behind them. Bai Shishi couldn't help laughing when she saw Long Chen's pleased appearance. This fellow really never walked the normal path. He was actually capable of thinking of something like this. Bai Zio was particularly excited. He felt like the outside world truly was fun. Everything was novel. When he saw that the sea demons were dumbfounded by their appearance and then tried to chase them, 
only to be flung far into the distance, he laughed. Crossing the terrifying devil, see this way was truly stimulating. Bizyle was having fun with the three-tailed fish monster, but very quickly a giant shark appeared and caught up to it. With a single bite, it split the fish monster in two, causing Bizyle to cry out. This wasn't a sea demon, but a deep sea devil called the deep sea shark devil. Furthermore, it was in existence at the peak of the fourth rank. It was also a deep sea devil with shocking speed. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been able to catch up to them. However, just as it bit their transportation, Long Chen punched its head and with a flash of lightning, its body stiffened. Xiao again shouted Long Chen. Bai Xiao recovered from his shock and immediately used the three flower pupils to control the deep sea devil shark. Its head was still dazed from being struck by Long Chen's lightning, so it couldn't even resist before falling under Bai Xiao's control. Hanging on one of its fins, they charged forward again, and their speed was even greater than before. This refreshing feeling made Bai Xiao, Zhu Zixin, and the others cheer. Even the Aishi Bai Shishi wanted to smile. Long Chen looked at her. If you want to smile, then smile. There's no need to hold it back. People should celebrate when happy. Furthermore, you're so beautiful. If you don't smile, it would be a waste. Bai Shishi turned to Long Chen. It seems that your mood is very good. You rarely praise me. Clearly, Bai Shishi's mood was not bad right now. Perhaps she was infected with everyone else's joy, but this happiness was simple and pure. It was like they had returned to their childhood. She had no urge to stab Long Chen. Of course my mood is good. I've been promoted. In the future, I can properly brag. Just thinking about it makes me smile, chortled Long Chen, very pleased. However, on the flying boat, only the two of them were aware of the matter with the Seventh Branch Academy. Long Chen didn't state it too explicitly. He could only share how pleased he was with Bai Shishi. So you're such an ordinary person that an empty title is so important to you? Bai Shishi cocked her head at him. Of course it's important. You have a real title, so that's why you don't care about an empty title. We both live in this world, so how can you avoid being one of the many commoners? Furthermore, once I establish the stronghold, I will claim that mountain as its king. My brothers will all come to me. He he, at that time. You will understand what a truly impressive sight is, said Long Chen with a laugh. The news of the Nine Prefecture Convention had spread far and wide. That told everyone that he was still alive, and they could calmly cultivate. Once they had raised their realms, they could gather once more. This time, by coming out of the academy, he was prepared to do something big again, letting his brothers know that he had stabilized himself in the immortal world. Those who could come should hurry up and come for some good food and wine. This something big was to rebuild the Seventh Branch Academy. His name as Dean of the High Firmament Academy's Seventh Branch Academy would spread far and wide. Seeing Long Chen's eyes unfocused as if he was in a beautiful dream, Bai Shishi was speechless. She then turned away, and when she did, she suddenly cried out, What is that? Chapter 3255 Once more encountering a ghost ship what a big ship! But why is it so worn down? exclaimed Bai Sayol when he saw the ship. To the side of their flying boat was an incomparably enormous ship in the distance. From so far away, they could see that its mast was high in the heavens, and there was a sail on it as well. This ship was incredibly worn down as if it had been abandoned for a long time. The mast was rotting, and the sail was ripped. An aura of decay came from it. They had no idea just how many years it had existed for. At the same time as they spotted it, they noticed that the sea demons that were drawn toward them had vanished. The devil sea instantly became deathly calm. There are ghost ships in the immortal world? Long Chen stared at that ancient giant ship 
feeling stunned. He hadn't expected to see it in the immortal world. Ghost ship! Startled cries rang out. By Sayol quiver. Legend is that those who encounter ghost ships will have terrible things happening to them. Are we going to die here? Don't jinx us. By she she hit him on the head to make him stay quiet. However, even her heart quivered. She had also heard of ghost ships. It was said that those who saw them encountered misfortune and rarely had good endings. The legend was that the ghost ships were reapers of lives. It was unknown if these rumors were true or not. The ghost ship slowly moved across the calm sea, and a strange sound came from it. It was like the wind was blowing its rotten mast. However, in the Devil's Sea, there was no wind. This sound made their hair stand on end. As the giant ship got closer, the originally clear sky became covered in a layer of haze. The world darkened. Is something terrifying coming out? Is it going to swallow us whole? By Zyol's voice quivered. He looked around, afraid of something suddenly jumping out. I already told you not to spout nonsense. By she she wanted to hit by Zyol. She was also afraid, and he just had to say something like that. She subconsciously got closer to Long Chen. The strange sound coming toward them was truly just like a wind blowing across a mast. The smell of decay then filled the air. For this sound, to ring out within the darkness, was like hearing a ghost wailing. Long Chen suddenly roared. Everyone was already tense, and this roar made them all jump. Ah! Oh. Seeing their wretched appearance, Long Chen laughed. Bai Shishi clenched her teeth and hit Long Chen. What is wrong with you? How can you be in the mood to scare people at this time? He he, don't get mad. It's just a joke to strengthen people's guts, said Long Chen. His appearance made Bai Shishi want to bite him. Don't be so nervous. This isn't my first time encountering a ghost ship. Zyol, have the shark bring us over to it. We're going toward it. Goosebumps rose on everyone. Long Chen wanted to get closer to this terrifying thing. Boss, the shark is too scared to move, said Bai Zyol, his voice quivering. All right, you can leave it here. We'll bring the flying boat over. You can stay here if you want, said Long Chen. No, I'd be more scared by myself. We can go together. Bai Zyol had been seen through. He then thickened his face and ordered the shark to bring them over. Long Chen, have you really encountered a ghost ship before? Asked Bai Shishi. That was in the mortal world. When I set foot on it, I saw secrets that were not recorded in history. Now that I'm encountering one again, perhaps this is a kind of fate. I can't let it slip past me, said Long Chen solemnly. Ghost ships passed through the past and present, and they contained unimaginable karma. Naturally, someone whose life wasn't tough enough would encounter misfortune if they saw one. However, Long Chen wasn't afraid of this. He already had terrible bad luck, so he wasn't afraid of more. When they got closer, they found that it was even bigger than expected. Furthermore, it seemed that the laws of the very world had changed. Long Chen, we should be careful. Don't mess around. This thing is absolutely terrifying, said Bai Shishi, her face pale. She wasn't the only one afraid. Bai Xiaol was shaking, and even Kin Feng and Kai Yu had goosebumps. This ghost ship was extremely sinister. They didn't have a good feeling about getting closer to it. You can wait for me here. I'm just going to take a look, and I'll be right back. Long Chen started climbing up the ghost ship. Seeing that Long Chen was climbing up, everyone felt a chill. As soon as Long Chen started, Ken Feng and Kai Yu followed. Zhu Zixin then clenched his teeth and followed behind the two of them. Only a brother and sister were left on the flying boat. Bai Ziol was shaking uncontrollably. You look after the flying boat. I'm going to go with boss. If Bai Ziol left, then Bai Shishi would be the only one remaining. 
even with all her power in front of this legendary ghost ship she still felt terrified let's go together seeing by Zayel going she didn't dare to stay here alone so she followed him up in any case the shark was under by Zayel's control and wouldn't run a line of people climbed up a rusty chain long chen then looked back at them be careful don't let the rust pierce your skin if that happens you'll instantly turn into a withered skeleton the chains were gigantic so long chen and the others were like ants climbing on top of it as the chains were rusty some of those flakes of rust were very sharp strange fluctuations came from that rust a ghost ship that passed through the past and future was very strange the rust very likely contained the power of time once wounded by it the power of time might turn someone to dust in an instant everyone carefully climbed up silently all they heard was the creaking sound of the ship and it felt like their nerves would explode if anyone dared to let out a roar at this time it would definitely scare them to death they quickly climbed up once they were at the top long chen indicated for them to be quiet and wait a moment he carefully stretched his head up to take a look at the situation on top of the ship even with long chen's guts he felt a chill he saw a bunch of decaying battle armor lying on the ground and the bodies had long since been turned into withered corpses those corpses looked as if they could have belonged to the human race but they were strangely large their arms also reached past their knees they didn't seem to be human they were already dead and yet these corpses remained intact just looking at them long chen felt a piercing pain in his soul this was the might of experts even when dead their will wasn't erased they didn't permit others to look at them if these life forms were alive they would definitely be absolutely terrifying kin feng and the others slowly looked over as well they saw tens of thousands of terrifying corpses just as they were staring at the corpses one of those corpses slowly turned its head toward long chen and the others long chen instantly had a bad feeling and covered by shishi's mouth her scream was covered up just then the corpses began to move kin feng and the others were horrified chapter three thousand two hundred fifty six yin soldiers through the dao don't move long chen sent a message to everyone and then silently looked at those corpses after looking around the corpses returned to their original immobile state once they were no longer moving bai xiol and the others sighed with relief although kin feng and kai yu had followed long chen the longest and were unafraid of death they were also covered in cold sweat at this moment boss what are these things whispered kai yu based on your understanding they should be called death spirits you ran into some on the martial heaven continent however these death spirits seem to lack spirituality they really are like corpses but the flame of their souls has yet to fully extinguish amongst death spirits there are also great differences there's a line of text in an ancient book of the academy yin soldiers through the tao they seem quite similar to that record said long chen yin soldiers bai shishi's expression changed that's one of the six daos the ghost tao it shouldn't exist in the same world as us how can we see them humans and ghosts are on different planes they should not be able to cross just like how day and night cannot appear at the same time however yin soldiers through the tao refers to activities of the night appearing in the day that is why it is called through the tao such a thing only exists in legends i didn't expect to run into it here said long chen we're seeing something that we shouldn't see that invokes a huge amount of karma we should hurry up and leave said bai shishi her face growing increasingly pale you're being foolish what are you so afraid of what's so wrong with invoking karma 
Without planting a seed, how will you harvest anything? Without harvesting it, how will you know whether the result is good or not? Since we don't know the future, we can't know if this is good or bad. Moreover, since we're already here, we can't leave just like this, said Long Chen. Then what do you want to do? Asked Bai Shishi, her voice quivering. Long Chen hadn't expected someone as powerful as Bai Shishi to be so afraid of these death spirits. It was very unexpected to him. However, it seemed that amongst everyone here, he was the only one who wasn't afraid of the death spirits. That was because he had thunder force that restricted them. But Bai Shishi's metal energy seemed to be a poor match for death spirits. Furthermore, no matter how strong she was, she was still afraid of the unknown within the domain of death. This was simply natural. Long Chen eyed these life forms. Based on his estimation, when they were alive, they were definitely at the immortal king realm or perhaps even higher. There were tens of thousands of them. However, as he looked around, all he saw were more corpses. He didn't see any treasures. Long Chen looked at the mass, sail, and ropes. They were all treasures, but after the passing of so many years, they were no longer useful. Seeing Long Chen's gaze roving around, Bai Shishi was speechless. This fellow was crazy, no. He wanted to steal something from this place. Even after looking for a long while, he didn't see anything valuable. However, just then, he spotted a sword in the embrace of a corpse. The sword was covered in dust, so he couldn't see what its original appearance was. However, when he used his soul to investigate it, his hair stood on end. That sword gave him an extremely dangerous sensation. A treasure. With Long Chen's years of experience snatching treasures, he was sure that the sword was extraordinary. He looked around again and didn't see any other treasures on the ghost ship. The other life forms didn't have anything on their bodies. All of you stay here. I'm going in. Long Chen waved to them and climbed over the railing. He rushed over. When Bai Shishi saw Long Chen's actions, she turned ice cold. Just how big were this fellow's guts? Once Long Chen jumped up, those life forms turned to look at him. Bai Shishi almost screamed. However, curiously, those life forms only looked at him and didn't attack. It was as if their heads were spoiled and they were unable to even think. Long Chen rushed over to the life form with the sword. He grabbed it, but that life form was holding on to it so tightly that he couldn't take it. Hey, don't be so stingy. You're already dead. Don't hog the toilet if you're not going to poop. Long Chen pulled harder. The sword was finally wrestled free from that life form's grasp. The sword was covered in dust, but as soon as it was in his hand, the dust fell, revealing golden patterns. After that, like flowed on top of it, filling the ship. What a good sword! Even after all this time, the scabbard's divine runes had yet to fade. This was definitely a divine weapon. Before he could examine it closely, the life form that had been holding the sword suddenly opened its eyes. Its eyes actually hadn't withered. When it opened its eyes, Long Chen's soul almost exploded. Fuck! Without a second thought, Long Chen transformed into a bolt of lightning, fleeing. He shouted at everyone, I've got the treasure. Let's go. Bai Ziol and the others immediately rushed down the ghost ship. After Bai Ziol summoned the deep sea devil, Shark, they prepared to flee. Boom. Just then, lightning exploded and Long Chen shot out like a cannonball, smashing into the flying boat. Bai Ziol immediately ordered the shark to rush away. Boss, you're injured. Kin Feng cried out. A bloody hole had appeared in Long Chen's shoulder. Moreover, fresh blood soaked his upper body. Don't look back. Bai Shishi and the others were turning back to look at the ghost ship when Long Chen shouted. Hearing this command, they immediately fixed their heads in the opposite direction. 
Long Chen himself turned back to see the master of the sword standing at the prow of the ghost ship. His eyes were cold and emotionless. It was as if they could see through a person's soul. The reason why Long Chen didn't want Bai Shishi and the others to look back was because he was afraid that if they saw those eyes, they would see them in their nightmares. Those eyes would then turn into a heart devil that they couldn't forget. However, just as he expected, that life form was unable to leave the ghost ship. The ghost ship sailed away until it was nothing more than a black speck in the distance. After that, the sky brightened once more. With the sky brightening up, it was as if nothing had happened at all. It was like all that was a nightmare that they had woken up from. It made them question whether or not it was real. If they didn't see that Long Chen was covered in blood, they really would feel like it had been nothing more than a dream. Boss, how is your wound? Kin Feng saw black liquid dripping out of his wound. It was starting to rot. Long Chen still felt some lingering fear. Damn, things almost collapsed just now. That fellow was very likely a world king. Take note of the surroundings, I'm going to heal. Long Chen then took out his bone saber and began to cut off his rotting flesh. Chapter 3257 Precious Sword Given to a Beauty Long Chen's Wound Was Rotting the Flesh Around It he then sliced off those parts, and new flesh quickly grew out, only to rot as well. Boss, what were you struck by? asked Kin Feng in shock. It had to be known that Kin Feng was very familiar with how amazing Long Chen's regeneration ability was. Any wound could almost be instantly healed, so he had never seen such a thing occur to Long Chen. I misjudged. That fellow was an expert of the sword Dao and this is the result of him raising a single finger and unleashing sword Kai through it. Fortunately, I dodged quickly and used my lightning blade to block it, deflecting most of the sword Kai. Otherwise, half my body would be gone right now, said Long Chen. The instant that life forms, eyes opened, Long Chen felt an intense sensation of danger well up within his heart. Hence, he instantly fled and condensed a lightning blade, slashing it down in advance. This was one of the moves that Liuo Zichuan had taught him. Through heavenly Dao energy, he grasped and cut off the orbit of his opponent's attack. However, that person was too powerful. A single flick of sword Kai was enough to pierce Long Chen's lightning blade and strike his shoulder. The lightning blade had blocked most of it, but this sword Kai still contained a powerful rotting effect that enveloped Long Chen's wound with some strange law. That was why his new flesh was also rotting. If he ignored it, his entire body would rot. This was a very terrifying ability. Fortunately, the one to be struck was Long Chen. Anyone else would lose their life from the slightest prick. Long Chen cut off his rotting flesh over ten times before the color of his new flesh gradually became normal. As that strange law was exhausted, the wound finally recovered. What kind of existence was that? Asked Kai Yu, feeling quite frightened. This was all too bizarre. They are not alive, but they aren't life forms of the netherworld either. Also, they are not like the death spirits we encountered on the martial heaven continent. On the surface, they appear to be the same, but they actually are different. I can't really say for sure what they are. But in any case, we've gained experience today, and it's not like we lose out. Long Chen smiled and showed off the sword in his hand with a pleased expression. The sword's entire body was golden, and there were ancient designs carved into it. They looked like written characters, but Long Chen didn't recognize a single one. The sword was heavy in his hand. Moreover, there was a halo of light flowing around it like it was alive. It was a divine weapon possessing immense spirituality. Pretty girl, your luck isn't bad. This is a weapon made for you. Long Chen smiled and handed the sword to Bai Shishi. Hearing this, Bai Shishi was surprised and her expression grew a bit unnatural. This is something you risked your life for. 
Why are you giving it to me for? Because you're pretty, declared Long Chen. Bai Shishi glared at him, but the moment she saw this sword, she fell for it. She even felt a kind of summons. Her metal energy grew exceptionally active just from looking at it. However, this was something that Long Chen had obtained after risking his life. So, she wanted it, but also couldn't accept it. Just take it. There's no need to repay me with your heart. Just remember that you owe me a favor. If you obtain a treasure that I can use, you can simply give it to me, said Long Chen, forcing her to take it. Those are the words I expected from a scoundrel like you. Bai Shishi snorted, but still received the golden sword. When she touched it, the runes on the hilt and scabbard lit up. Golden runes then flowed around Bai Shishi's entire body. A sharp aura forced back everyone else. A divine weapon accepting a master. This sword really is fated for fairy Shishi, said Qin Fang enviously. Bai Shishi's entire body was surrounded by revolving runes, and the runes in her body resonated with them. At this moment, the golden light made her appear like a golden goddess, beautiful and sacred. A golden mark gradually appeared in her eyes. It was something that also appeared on the sword. It really accepted her as its master. Long Chen was also envious. This sword's aura was concealed, making it impossible for him to judge what level of weapon it was. But based on how tightly that terrifying expert had been holding onto it, it was definitely a peerless treasure. The quality of this divine weapon definitely wasn't inferior to his king item pill furnace. Furthermore, his pill furnace couldn't even be used yet as the demon moon furnace's item spirit had yet to awaken. However, this sword had instantly accepted Bai Shishi as a master. This kind of luck was naturally something that he was jealous of. Jealousy was a vicious thing. Could it be that divine weapons also chose masters based on looks? Holding the sword, Bai Shishi couldn't help unsheathing it. With a light sound like a phoenix cry, despite only unsheathing a single inch of the blade, golden light erupted, blinding Long Chen and the others. It was as if a sun had suddenly appeared. Crackling sounds rang out, and then there was an explosion. Bai Shishi hastily sheathed the sword back. When the light faded, the flying boat that they were on exploded along with Kim Feng's belt, Kai Yu's arm bracers, and Zhu Zixian's metal wristbands. Anything metallic simply exploded. Sorry. Bai Shishi hastily apologized. She hadn't expected this sword to be so domineering. Just pulling out the slightest bit of it caused everything metallic to explode. That was absolutely terrifying. It was as if it refused to coexist with ordinary metal. Its very presence caused them to explode. Good thing I put away my weapon first. Kin Feng and the others were shaken. At this close distance, perhaps even treasure items would have been destroyed. She, she, I feel like you're still too young, too impetuous. I apologize for this, but I feel like you should return this precious sword to me, said Long Chen with the expression of a mistaken elder. Nice try. Even if you give me your life, I won't give you this sword. Bai Shi Shi naturally knew that Long Chen was messing around. With his pride, how could he accept something that he had given away? Bai Shi Shi smiled happily. Bai Ziol had never seen her so happy. You don't have to give it. But my boss is lacking a bed warmer, Aya. Bai Ziol wasn't even done speaking before he was kicked by Bai Shi Shi. Bai Shi Shi held the sword fondly. Seeing her so happy, Long Chen was in a good mood. Although he couldn't use it himself, equipping his allies was always good. Boss, while you were taking the sword, Kai Yu and I got some of the rust. Take a look. Is it useful? Noveloon Kum Kin Feng carefully took out a beast hide. Inside was a pile of rust. Staring at this rust, Bai Shishi didn't know whether to cry or laugh, as expected of Long Chen's followers. It really was a case of bandits never returning empty-handed. 
Of course it's useful. Good job. You have never disappointed me. Long Chen chuckled. This rust is infected by the power of time, so it possesses a terrifying law involving decay. If you made arrows with them, divine lords would instantly lose their lives when shot. Even immortal kings would have trouble with them. I was planning on gathering some myself, but I didn't expect that fellow to be so terrifying. Well done. Bai Shishi took out a new flying boat, and they once more sped off with the deep sea devil shark. Chapter 3258 Long Chen's dream by Shishi had obtained a divine weapon, and her smile had yet to fade. She truly loved this new sword of hers to death. To a metal cultivator, obtaining a divine weapon perfectly suited to them was a huge stroke of life. Moreover, this sword didn't dislike her because of her low cultivation base. It was willing to accept her as its master. That showed that the sword had immense confidence in her and her future. Obtaining a divine weapon was like obtaining a close companion, a companion she could have absolute trust in. Bai Shishi was always alone. Although she had built the Heaven Female Alliance, she didn't have a true friend. So, this companionship was exceptionally exciting for her. Within the flying boat, she was still holding the sword, refusing to let it go. To the side, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixin had taken out a furnace and were melting the rust. It quickly turned into liquid rust. Kin Feng then poured this liquid into molds. After they cooled down, they had their arrowheads. If Boss Yuo Ren saw this, he would definitely die of laughter. Kin Feng bitterly smiled as he eyed these arrowheads. They didn't have any forging arts, so they could only use the lowest level of craftsmanship to make these arrowheads. Without any forging arts, they could only use the most basic methods. Who cares? Although it might be a bit ugly, these things can still take the lives of experts. Adding on bosses' wooden arrow shafts, these things will become absolute killing tools, said Kai Yu. Using a file, he sharpened the tip a bit and smiled. Although the arrows were primitive and actually needed to be filed, showing that it was entirely the work of amateurs, if these arrowheads pierced flesh, it would still take a person's life. They had done a test. An arrow mixed with this rust instantly killed a divine lord realm sea demon when struck, and that sea demon instantly rotted into black water. Although a sea demon wasn't that strong, their life energy was greater than a human expert in the same realm. If it was a human divine lord who was struck, they probably wouldn't even have a chance to ask for help before dying. I miss those bosses and our brothers. Speaking of Guo Ran, Kin Feng thought of Gu Yang, Lai Kai, Song Minjuan, Yu Zifeng, Xia Chen, Wilda, and all the others. Don't be in a rush. We've left the heavenly swell domain. In the future, we'll roam the nine heavens and ten lands. Wherever we go, we will be the focus point. The brothers that hear of us will naturally come join us. When we're all together again, we can start doing some really big things in the immortal world. The name of the Dragonblood Legion will resound throughout the nine heavens and ten lands as the immortal world's number one legion. Where the Dragonblood Legion is, devils will submit, while immortals and gods will flee. When there is no one else to resist us, we'll create a peaceful world, a world with no slaughter, a world where people don't need to scheme against each other. After kicking out the evil, we'll let the good live peaceful lives. Once we're together, we can live carefree lives. That's true freedom. Long Chen looked out the window with a longing expression in his eyes. He clenched his fists. He had long since grown tired of this world's fighting. However, he had no choice but to fight. If he didn't, he would die. The reason why he had become so strong was because the heavens were forcing him. So far, the world that he liked the most was the spirit world. That was a hidden land of peace. It was a pure land. 
his greatest desire was to create such a world can such a world really exist by she she looked at long chen curiously such a world was something all people longed for of course it's possible in this world full of blood and slaughter you mostly see the ugly side of things but behind the ugly side there is definitely beauty as long as a person is strong enough they can defy even the heavens once i'm strong enough the laws of the heavenly Tao's will no longer be able to bind me i will smash them to pieces and create the world that i want long chen looked up at the sky a determined glint appeared in his eyes if the heavens reject me i will reject the heavens i will keep what i like and eject what i don't however the prerequisite for this was that he had to be strong enough right now that goal was too far but long chen was confident that if he was given enough time he could do it boss there's land up ahead said bai Ziol suddenly so quickly everyone was pleasantly surprised the speed with which they had crossed the devil sea was truly astonishing they had wasted so much time at the ghost ship but still reached the other shore in just a day kin feng also finished the arrows at this time they had made over three hundred arrows just like the luo family this side of the land was covered in defences anywhere sea demons liked to come onto land had to have experts standing guard Boom. the defenders saw a giant shark charging over on the surface it was like a cannonball sea demon alert no it's a sea devil startled cries rang out and countless experts were alarmed this attack came out of nowhere the commander tower hadn't even given them any warning but the sea devil was already charging toward land prepare the divine crossbows and the dragon cannons quickly a shout came from the commander tower this terrifying attack caught them off guard causing chaos Boom. that giant shark smashed into the ground in front of their defenses and then stopped moving those panicking experts realized that there was a small flying boat on top of the shark a few youngsters came walking off everyone don't panic i'm sorry that my mount scared you ha 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 by Zyle walked off and waved toward those shocked experts although he said sorry his expression was not at all apologetic this fellow was intentionally scaring them to draw everyone's attention and he had succeeded everyone's attention was on him he dared to use a deep sea devil shark as a mount people looked from the deep sea devil shark that was already dead to the flying boat bound to its fin they suddenly had a crazy thought had these people used the deep sea devil shark to cross the devil sea however these people were merely in the four peak realm furthermore they were very young they couldn't believe it who are you shouted a late stage divine lord from on top of the defenses he was clearly suspicious about these unknown people the defensive wall had giant crossbows and divine cannons pointed at them by she she casually put away the flying boat who are you hurry up and reply or we won't be courteous shouted the divine lord again angry at being ignored suddenly long chen and the others vanished the experts on the wall cried out in shock after that space twisted and long chen and the others appeared in front of the divine lord this elder's expression completely changed and just as he reached out to grab his weapon a saber was already pressed up against his neck don't be nervous we're just passing by conveniently we can ask you for directions it was kin feng's saber pressed against the elder's neck long chen then indicated for him to put away his saber and turned to the elder chapter three thousand two hundred fifty nine come to pay respect as kin feng pulled his saber from that elder's neck the surrounding divine lords relaxed their hostile stances they then put down their weapons that were originally pointed at long chen and the others long chen smiled slightly 
although he didn't care about these experts. It would be difficult to communicate if they were to try and stop his group. Fortunately, Kin Feng had already shot them. Sometimes giving a strong display of force was the only way to make communication easier. As expected, although this elder was enraged, he could tell that these youngsters were not to be provoked. His expression was ugly, but his tone had improved. May I know what you wish to know about my Jiang Prefecture? Jiang Prefecture? This isn't the Yuhua Prefecture? asked Kin Feng. He then looked at Bai Xiaol. Bai Xiaol was also surprised. I didn't get the direction wrong. Was it because of the ghost ship? Cough. Long Chen suddenly interrupted Bai Xiaol. However, the words of the ghost ship had come out of Bai Xiaol's mouth. As a result, all the experts here were shocked and retreated, as if they were seeing a demon of pestilence. Even that elder's expression changed. The ghost ship was an object of misfortune. Some people said that it was the curse of the devil, and those who saw one would be infected by their misfortune. Moreover, those that interacted with the unlucky people would also run into bad luck. Don't listen to his nonsense. How could there be such a thing as a ghost ship in this world? Senior, we wish to go to the Yuhua Prefecture. May I ask which direction it is? said Long Chen. Are you that dual champion of the Heavenly Swell Domain's Nine Prefecture Convention? Long Chen. Suddenly, another elder cried out. I wouldn't dare to be called that. But yes. Long Chen cupped his fists. You really encountered a ghost ship? asked that elder. There was no such thing. I just told them some scary stories while crossing the Devil Sea. I told them about the legend of the ghost ships, so this fellow probably pissed himself when he heard it and got the direction mixed up. Long Chen shrugged. The matter of the ghost ship was too bizarre. It would be best not to randomly talk about it. While Long Chen wasn't afraid for himself, he was worried about Bai Ziol and the others provoking something bad. Hearing that, these experts relaxed slightly. Their guard also dropped when they learned that Long Chen was the champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention. They told Long Chen that they had gotten lost. They were very far from the Yuhua Prefecture. However, once they learned who he was, they treated his group with warm hospitality, providing him with a mode of transportation and a path that brought them closer to the Yuhua Prefecture. Once they were out of the transportation formation, they went off in their flying boat once more. On the way, he told them to keep quiet about the ghost ship. Such a thing was very controversial, and it would be best to be careful about mentioning it to others. Their flying boat quickly approached the Yuhua Prefecture. At this moment, Kai Yu tensed slightly. The Yuhua Palace was the sect that had raised him ever since he was in the immortal world. He hated Jiang Bei, but he didn't hate the Yuhua Palace. Now that he was returning to the Yuhua Prefecture, he felt a bit lost. Boss up ahead is the territory of the Yuhua Palace, said Kai Yu quietly as he started to see familiar scenery. Good, let's go down. Long Chen had by Shishi put away the flying boat, and they started flying over to the Yuhua Palace. As expected, it wasn't long before some experts appeared their way. Kai Yu, you traitor, you have the face to return. The palace master has ordered you to be executed on sight for massacring your fellow disciples. Dozens of patrolling disciples immediately congregated on them, their leader being a mid-four-peak expert. When Kai Yu saw that expert, his eyes reddened. This was one of his attackers. Two of the wounds on his body had been left by this person. Lu Zia, you were the one who killed those disciples. How dare you accuse me? roared Kai Yu. He then slashed his sword at him. Lu Zia had joined the sect over a year before Kai Yu, so he was Kai Yu's senior apprentice brother. Also, as Kai Yu had just advanced to the first heaven stage of the Four Peak Realm, 
he was a bit weaker than Luzia. Boom! However, when their weapons collided, Luzia grunted. Just like that, he was sent flying, his weapon almost leaving his hold. Luzia was shocked. It had only been a few days, so how did Caillou suddenly become so powerful? Of course, Luzia didn't know that Caillou had gone through the tempering of the Honing Heavenly Staircase. Because of it, Caillou had transformed from the last time Luzia saw him. His sharp edge had been honed. The other disciples with Luzia took out their weapons, but they suddenly found that they couldn't move. They were shocked to find that space had frozen. The adults are talking. Children don't interfere. When by Zyol's hand seals changed, those disciples coughed up blood and collapsed on the ground, their auras plummeting. Ice. Your spatial energy is well controlled. You can count as a first-rate expert now, said Long Chen. Now that Bai Zyol had gotten serious with training, he was definitely not inferior to any heavenly genius. He had good talent, and now that he was working hard, he had actually undergone shocking growth in a short time. Even Long Chen had a newfound respect for him. Bai Xiaol was delighted to receive Long Chen's praise. Seeing that, Bai Shishi covered her mouth and smiled. Ever since becoming Long Chen's subordinate, Bai Xiaol had truly undergone a shocking transformation. Even with all his efforts, Bai Zhantang was unable to raise his son properly. But Long Chin had easily done it. It really was a case of needing the right tools for the right job. With seven slashes of his sword, Kai Yu managed to break through Lu Zia's defenses and stab his sword into his chest. Kai Yu's face twisted with hatred and anger. You bastard! Did you ever think that such a day would come for you? With his sword piercing his chest, Lu Zia was terrified. Junior apprentice brother Kai, don't kill me. I didn't want to be your enemy. I had to listen to senior apprentice brother Bay's orders. I beg you, don't kill me. It was senior apprentice brother Bay who forced me to do this. Lu Zia had thought that victory was well within his grasp. But in the blink of an eye, he was the one begging for mercy. The stark fall made him particularly contemptible. Kai Yu, leave him alive. He'll be useful in a bit, said Long Chen. Kai Yu extracted his sword, but punched Lu Zia's face, knocking him unconscious. Just then, the sound of an alarm rang out and countless experts rushed over. As soon as they noticed Kai Yu, a hidden alarm was also spread to certain people. Jiang Bei had long since set up a heaven-encompassing net. As long as Kai Yu dared to return, he wouldn't even have a chance to enter the gates of the palace before being slain. Seeing this, Long Chen sneered and suddenly announced, The seventh branch is dean of the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen has come to pay respect. Long Chen's powerful voice was like the roar of a god. It echoed throughout this space. Come to pay respect. Come to pay respect. Come to pay respect. Eh? His voice was echoing seemingly throughout the entire world. It contained a domineeringness that shook people's hearts. Following that, an ancient voice rang out in the distance. My important guests, you've come a long way. The Yuhua Palace is graced by your presence. Please come in and have a rest in my home. Let's go. Long Chen waved his hand, bringing everyone along. However, Kin Feng and the others were stunned. When did their boss become the dean? Chapter 3260 Yuhu Palace Master Long Chen's shout dumbfounded the experts that were rushing over. They stared at him. This person, who was only at the first heaven stage of the Four Peak Realm, called himself the dean of the High Firmament Academy. It had to be known that the High Firmament Academy was a well-known existence in any domain. No matter how much it declined, its illustrious history remained. The name of the world's number one academy had yet to disappear. Furthermore, there was an expert within the Yuhua Palace replying to him, so now they were stuck. 
They could only stare at the traitor Caillou, but not dare to attack. Some people started to feel uneasy. They were the ones that had participated in the attack against Caillou. Under the gazes of countless experts, Long Chen's group walked straight forward. When those people saw Caillou, they were clearly astonished. Caillou's heart was also tense as he walked, but Kin Feng patted his shoulder and pointed to Long Chen, indicating not to worry. Their boss was present, so there was nothing to worry about. Kai Yu nodded and took a deep breath. He said, Boss, the one speaking just now is the current palace master. The reason why Kai Yu was so tense was because Jiang Bei was the palace master's great grandson. Since that was the case, Kai Yu didn't know how Long Chen would find justice for this matter. Ever since ancient times, every single organization remained biased toward its geniuses. Powerful geniuses would be protected no matter what crimes they had committed. That was because a sect's development depended on them. There was no such thing as fairness in this world. Even if Jiang Bei had plotted against Kai Yu, a sect wouldn't throw away a genius whom they viewed as their future just because of Kai Yu. When Long Chen and his group arrived in front of the gates, the gates slowly opened and disciples lined up to welcome them, forming a path. They could follow this path to the plaza, and from there, they would be able to go to the main palace. However, Long Chen stopped in front of the gates. Pai Yu asked, Boss, the palace isn't that far. Why aren't you going? Long Chen smiled slightly. This is such a beautiful place, a treasured land of good feng shui. But while the ground is good, the people are lacking manners. Well, fine. My mood is good today, and we came to pay respect without bringing any good gifts. I don't mind killing someone to increase the good mood. Long Chen grabbed Lu Zia just like that, holding his hair and making a slicing motion in front of his neck with Kai Yu's sword. This action made Kai Yu jump. Long Chen wanted to kill people within the Yu Huo Palace and a core disciple at that. That would be a huge humiliation to the Yu Huo Palace, planting an undying seed of hatred. The experts of the Yu Huo Palace were also shocked. Their killing intent ignited, and they took out their weapons. Just then, space quivered, and a white robed elder appeared in front of the gates. As soon as this elder appeared, all the disciples of the Yuhua Palace bowed. Greetings, Palace Master. Pai Yu also bowed. However, the Palace Master snorted. You massacred your fellow disciples and still have the face to return. What? Have you found a reliable backer? Long Chen instantly frowned and said, Old boast, do you want to die? Or have you grown tired of living and want to drag the entire Yuhua Palace down with you to your grave? Long Chen was angered. He would rather do this peacefully, but the palace master was clearly looking down on him. Long Chen had shown his status and came to the gates. Even if the palace master himself wasn't there waiting for him, there had to be at least someone with status to welcome them. Did they think that he was a dean only in name? Long Chen naturally couldn't walk in unaccompanied. That would be lowering himself. He had come to find justice, not to suffer this grievance. He had finally forced this person out, but the latter didn't even give Caillou any chance to tell his side of the story before calling him a traitor who killed his fellow disciples. Long Chen was naturally enraged. It really was a case of giving face but not receiving face. How brazen! Where did you come from, brat? You dare to be rude to the palace master. Countless experts of the Yuhua Palace cursed Long Chen. He dared to curse their palace master. Suddenly, a light sound rang out. As Bai Shishi unsheathed a single inch of her sword, a golden light erupted. It was like a sun had suddenly appeared. Countless experts cried out. Whether it was the weapons in their hands or the ones that they were wearing, everything shattered. When the sword was resheathed, 
the divine light faded and the expressions of all the Yuhua Palace's experts had changed. Anything metallic had shattered, and even treasure items were destroyed. Now, the palace master's expression changed as he stared in shock at Bai Shishi's sword. He had never seen such a terrifying metal object. Just relying on its innate divine might, it could shatter treasure items. Just slightly unsheathing a sword stunned everyone. This divine weapon from the ghost ship was truly powerful. Old fellow, I wanted to talk to you properly, but now I see that you don't want that. Then there's nothing to talk about. Hand over the ones who harmed my brother, or today your Yuhua palace will be flattened, said Long Chen. As expected, the grandpa raised the grandson into his likeness. Both of them were the same, and to have this fellow carry out justice reasonably was impossible. Since reasoning couldn't do shit, they could talk with their fists instead. That was always Long Chen's specialty. Buzz. Caillou was shocked. This was the place that had raised him, and he still had gratitude toward the Yuhua Palace. Big words. Even if you have a king item, so what? Since you so arrogantly wish to destroy my Yuhua Palace, don't even think about leaving alive, sneered the palace master. At this moment, the entire Yuhua Palace shuddered as its grand formation activated. The Yuhua Palace's experts were shocked. Their palace master had actually activated the strongest level of the grand formation. Once it was activated, even immortal kings would be helpless against it. Long Chen and the others were now turtles caught in a jar. The palace master eyed by Shishi's sword with a hint of greed. He knew that it was a priceless treasure, so he wanted to kill her and take it. That expression was completely obvious in Long Chen's eyes. He sneered disdainfully. This fellow was truly sinister. The palace master had clearly spotted this sword from the beginning, and had drawn them to the gates so that he could activate the formation. In other words, he had planned to kill them for the sword from the very start. Long Chen's smile was very dangerous. With this, he no longer needed to have any misgivings. As for Kai Yu, his expression was one of disappointment. Even he could see the palace master's greed. Although he knew that the latter would protect his great-grandson, he hadn't expected him to act like this. At this moment, Kai Yu's loyalty to the Yuhua Palace faded. Palace master, you can't. Just then, a group of people ran over. Their leader was a stern-faced elder, and beside him was a beautiful woman. Kai Yu, are you all right? This woman immediately rushed over to Kai Yu, her eyes full of worry.